Hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ISPs, am I right? Uh, uh, you're right. We're a little delayed starting, but this is episode three of Into the Mist. Um, we are live on the Dungeons & Dragons Twitch, um, who is a main sponsor, as well as on the Realmsmith Twitch tonight as well. Um, we are so happy to be here on a Monday night. We're a little flustered because uh, of technical data issues, but we'll see. Hopefully we're good. We will pray to the Morning Lord that everything continues the way that it should. You might. Hopefully. You may. <laughs> I am the Morning Lord. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Depends on your alignment. <laughs> oh no, it's continuing yeah. into the episode. Uh, I want to thank our main title sponsor, Beetle and Grimm. Yay, Beetle and Grimm! Um, this week, I'm even wearing my shirt. Ooh, wow. My the dino. My, my beetle shirt. That's a nice dinosaur hey. shirt. Hey. Yeah. Oh, uh, a mighty fine shirt. There was an Instagram post that Matt Lillard made today saying that there's a big announcement coming for Beetle and Grimm that we're very excited about. So stay tuned for later this week. Um, Interesting. According to uh, Matt Lillard. Um, <laughs> I want to also thank our other main title sponsor and Adam's oh, Adam's profile. We want to thank we want to thank Adam's profile for making an appearance there in the announcement. You're welcome. Sirenscape is a wonderful fantasy sound and mood player for your tabletop RPGs. Uh, yeah. We use Sirenscape a lot, um, and it is awesome. And you can check it out at www.sirenscape.com slash Realmsmith. That will let them know that we sent you. Uh, and then if you if you type Realmsmith into the search bar, you will see all of the sound sets, including the ones that we're using tonight for purchase on Sirenscape. I'm killing time until I get the Sirenscape ad card shows up with the URL like this. It's going like, to be like right on this side. I'm just going to I'm going to bend it. I'm going to Sirenscape. I'm going to right here. Twitch bend. Use the force. It's going to happen. The last wow, Twitch bend. Wow, really the the guys are The guys are sleep. maybe now. Hey! 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 There it is. It worked. Just wow. Hands. Um wow. Julian's just drinking. Wow. <laughs> it's all good. I think we were in the wide shot, that's why, and it wasn't working. But there is, sciencecape.com slash Realmsmith. We're having a great night, folks. Typical Barovian mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. yeah. Product sponsors, we want to thank WizKids. I want to show off, I actually unboxed those dragons. Oh. So that is the adult white. That is the adult oh. sapphire. What? Just to give you kind of an idea of scale. Uh. <laughs> okay, but Anyways. just remove them from the current scene. Yeah, if you give me, give me, a, give me an, um, a WizKids mini there. Give me your a mini, Roan. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> is Roan. Uh, what a wiener. Down there. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and that is... Wow. Okay. I can uh, still take him. I can take him. You're more like a two-bite. Um, and not like a single... It's a two-bite I'm a morsel. Yes. Uh, I'm a snack. That's what I am. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> An order. I'd yeah. like to thank Dwarven Forge as well nice for. Uh, I'm just going to continue on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to thank Dwarven Forge for a lot of the uh, terrain at the table. Um, Yay. I posted, I painted a bunch this week, as you can see. There is something on the table that the players don't know what it is, but some of you at home might know. And in the chat, don't be in the chat. Um, Wait, but uh, yeah, it's awesome. Hero Forge. I want to do a shout out to Hero Forge. Uh, yes. This week, I painted Sterling. We've got Falfer and we've got Sterling for our. Sterling. Uh, maybe we can bring up that uh, overcam there, just like that. Um, and uh, oh, look at that. Oh, wow. So that is Sterling. Sterling. I'm a real boy. Oh. Sterling Argento. <laughs> Argento. Argento. And then we have Falfer Soft Foot. From last week, and then next week, I'm not sure who I'm going to do next. Probably uh, Callie, uh, who is not here tonight. Mel is not with us this evening. So, oh. just as a note, the Mithril Armory, yeah, yeah, yeah. official Yay. accessory Yay. and dice sponsor for this nice season. Um, we're doing actually two giveaways tonight. Uh, we had talked about this, I think, Julian. Hopefully, it's set up. I talked to um, Chad about it, but uh, we're doing Hero Forge first. And then we're doing Mithril the second half. Is that okay? Shiny, absolutely. So H Hero Forge in the chat, type it once, all one word. Um, be sure that you don't do it more than once or you'll be disqualified by our awesome bot system. 
Um, but uh, you will be entered, and then we will send you a code for a $50 gift certificate, gift card for Hero Forge. Uh, and then in the break, we will shift over to a Mithril Armory uh, product placement. <laughs> A great. mithril <laughs> armory uh, with the overgrab. Yeah. Uh, D&D Beyond. Uh, thank you to D&D Beyond. We are powered by them. Uh, and we use it at the table. And we are a disaster tonight. This should go swimmingly. Well, this is when things are the best, Jay. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, people Sorry, in the no. Discord are crafting all kinds of things. If you're interested in joining our Discord art role-playing community, Ooh. you can subscribe either at Twitch Prime, uh, Tier 1, Tier 2, or Tier 3 on our Twitch channel. That is on the Realmsmith Twitch channel. You can also subscribe to D&D because you want to support them. But subscribe on the D&D Twitch channel, or on the Realmsmith Twitch channel. You can come over to us and do that, and you get the opportunity to role-play with our awesome community, craft items, and interact with the players. In fact, there may be a couple cameos tonight for some of our uh, camp stuff what? yeah really? a little bit there, oh. there's, there might be a spoiler little something alert. just saying just a little spoiler alert there um yeah. behind the screen tomorrow night with myself that is q a session for an hour from 8 p.m eastern to 9 p.m eastern thursday we will have players table with joel oj as usual and then nolzers back to nolzers on um sunday i won't tell you what i painted this week for those of you that don't know i know some of you know but it might be a spoiler. Can I just say I had the most fun for the players' table this past week? It was pretty great. There was a hundred people actually watching the show, which I think yeah. is the most anyone has ever had watching the players' table show. Pretty sure that's mm. the most anyone's ever had. Mm. Yeah, you would know because you're well, the one that runs would? it. No one else runs it, but I'm just saying. I'm the only one who hosts it, but... Your yeah. personal best. Exactly! <laughs> My personal best! It was amazing. Um, we had we crossed the 5,000 followers on Twitch on yeah. Thursday night. We can switch to Joel's Ooh. game. Shot all night. Yeah, we're just gonna... They were told during announcements just to do that shot, so oh. hey guys. they're just listening. Oh, it's um, Yeah, it was fun. It was really fun. Thanks for joining, and come to this week's, because this week's guest is... Adam's at the table at Adam, Adam's profile <laughs> 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 welcome Adam's profile uh, yeah anyways it was fun awesome continue all right uh, and today is Gary Gygax Day, is that Yay! right? Yay! So um, we're repping for Gary Gygax. We love the Gygax family, Luke and all the folks, and um, do lots as we hosted uh, Founders and Legends this year and Gary Con. So we are tied quite closely with the family and do everything that we can to spread the word and the love and to uh, make sure that we remember those that created this wonderful game that we play, um, including Gary and all of them, which is awesome. So, all right, are you guys ready to jump in? I think that's all the announcements for today. Barely. Um, yeah. Say hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hey. I good. did my hair for the night. So thankful. That is not Jeez. true. <laughs> it looks like it was raining. <laughs> there right. we go. I'm on this side. Oh. That's, yeah. that's change. Mm -hmm. Big changes. Yes. yes. And like I said, world, huh? no Melanie yeah. tonight. He's moving up towards the camera. Yeah. All right. What do you have for us, DM? <laughs> what do I have? <laughs> you guys closed out the evening after a long... Um, trek through Barovia, stopped at a windmill, mm. um, known as, for fans at, at, of the old bone grinder, um, dispatched some night hags, some of them. Some of them One of them, back. actually. Yeah. The other disappeared. The yep. other two disappeared. They sure did. No, no, we killed them all. We killed them all. They're all dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that was... Uh, Right before you decided um, that you wanted to try and locate Irene again. Um, and right after, you met with Strahd himself, having dinner at his castle. Uh, you returned to Velaki after burning the windmill to the ground, and um, followed up on some of the fortune-telling um, hooks that um, Madame Eva had given you at the beginning of our uh, adventure on the campaign. Uh, you got some information, um, and you are now kind of settling in for the evening. Uh, what do you all do before you go to bed? If there's anything that you want to do before you turn in, let me know. Uh, and I'd also like to know who's bunking with who. 
and then uh, we can go from there. Oh, I have to shed a room with you guys? Mm. Sounds like that. You don't have to. <laughs> <clears throat> you have all the money, <laughs> so you do whatever that you want. That is true. Uh, you do have a, a somewhere you've been staying, as you know, uh, Esmeralda, but it is a ways from where you are, obviously. Um, you guys are currently at the Blue Water Inn. Um, if you remember correctly. And um, there, there is a large room that you guys had rented with four beds. Uh, no, uh, you had rented the two two bedrooms, right? Yes, we, la- the previous time we had. Yes, you so had. We'll do the same. Okay, yeah, so you'll do the same. I think same. there was a group and then me and you were in one room, was it? Or? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Falfer, Sterling, Callie were in one room. Yep. Mm-hmm. You two were, were in another room. You don't have a room currently in well, Wallachie. Well, Falfer dragged me up the stairs and put me in a room. I did put him in a room. So which room did you put him in? I'll, I say we'll, I'll have put him in our room. Because okay. it would have been the room that I could have entered. You know what I mean? Okay. So I just... Yeah, and didn't I go upstairs to go check on... On Falfer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so there was also a room with four other beds in it, so you guys could rent that room in addition if you want um, for the evening. Um, and because of the favor that you did for the family, um, you the, for the Martikovs, you actually have been given free stay. So oh, they, they've wow. actually opened up this other room for you. Um, Thank you very and much. And allowed you to kind of <laughs> spend the night there. Merci beaucoup. Okay. He was looking you, after the kids, though. They're uh, in a room as well. We continue, oh, yeah, I, we had those. I we did well, have we a question have for the DM. <laughs> yeah, we took them. Uh, just for nice. like sake of reference, I know that Esmeralda had a large, uh, her own cart that I'm oh. sure is uh, it's elsewhere somewhere, but yeah. I didn't know that we established where it was. Stashed. Yeah, it, it's where you've been staying for the last number of weeks. Okay, uh, so I'm assuming it is still there and safe, but yes. I'll still be spending the night in this place. Yes, I assume, and I'm assuming they, they open up the four bedroom room for bedroom. Uh, for the two kids, they can have their own beds, and then that leaves two more beds there, um, where you can stay, Muskoka, if you want. Um, do you want to stay with the kid and Esmeralda, actually, and then that's perfect. Then you guys can yes. continue I, I to mean, keep your same rooms. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, so can we can we have a little bit of a chat <clears throat> down in the down in the pub area, down in the bar area, the so, tavern area? Yeah. So, so these guys had completed their conversation with uh, Danica. Yep. Um, they started their way up. Are you coming down then? Yeah, because I was I was up. I dragged Muskoka into the room, yep. closed the door, put him in. Okay, so you come back down, and you yep. kind of meet them coming up the stairs. Yep. Um, Sterling, where are you? Um, well, I would have just come out of the conversation with Danica. Yeah, so okay. the three... Uh, Muskoka's up in the room with the kids. Uh, Esmeralda, you came up to see what was going on. Uh, you kind of crested the stairs, and Falfer was coming back down the stairs. So you can decide what you'll do, um, and then you guys kind of meet at the stairs. So, I have to go talk to my friend. He's clear, oh, well. clearly not himself these days. Oh, okay, well, I was looking for you, so I'll just, if you don't mind. Oh, of course. I really join. don't want to stay up and watch those kids. Join me. I have some, uh, I have some interesting questions for Sterling. Will you come? Yeah, sure. Okay. Lead the way. We'll go down the stairs. Okay. To wherever Sterling is. Okay, so he, you catch the three of them coming up the stairs. Okay. So you kind of meet mid-stair. Sterling, will you come and have a drink with us? Um, I will sit with you. Will you come and sit with us? Yes. Okay, good. Um, so we'll go down to the... Okay, uh, what about these two? No, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm going straight to bed. This day has been very tough. Very, very. No, of course, by all means. Hmm. Get some rest. Hmm. Dimitri. I'll see you in the morning. Yes, of course. A drink does not sound bad to me. I'll join them in the uh, okay. drink room. Oh, well. Okay, so you guys come down. Uh, the two drunk brothers have kind of stumbled out, and okay. the common room is now empty. Okay. Uh, there's some noise from the kitchen area, mm. uh, probably just cleaning up. For the most part, it's quiet, and you have the room to yourselves. Okay. <clears throat> there are also, other than you uh, and Rectavio that you knew at one point, nobody else is staying in the, in the inn. So it opens up to the locals, but then afterwards, everyone goes home, and you guys basically have the run of the place. Okay. So I'll sit. I'll sit at the at a table with the others. Yep. <clears throat> and I'll make sure that I'm beside Sterling, and just go. Uh, Sterling, I have noticed of late 
And I mean, you can tell me whether I'm being crazy or not. But I have noticed that uh, you, your temper is, <laughs> it's really, uh, goes to a boiling point quite quickly. Did, uh, is there something that we can help you with? I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know exactly why. Uh, oh. I just, I've been getting a little angry lately. Since helping the kids, though, I, I, I feel a bit better. Mm. But it seems when you and Ron had when you gave in to Strahd, if there's not a better term for it, okay, it bothered me because I, I felt as though I was traveling with people that I couldn't trust. That any time you choose, you you could just do something so horrible as to give up someone that we were meant to protect. Um, and that made me very angry, but I tried to keep it down and quiet. Um, and then when we were in Strahd's place, it bubbled up even more. Mm. And it stayed with me. A and it doesn't feel like me. Mm. It feels separate from me. So you feel like you are uh, at odds with yourself? I suppose that might be the correct term. I had spoken to Callie a little, and it feels very much like when we're in the heat of battle and the Warforged programming uh, takes over, mm. when it speaks louder than I do, when I allow it to do what it does best. That's what it feels like. The boy is clearly losing his mind. I, I would not go that far. I mean, I think all of us have things inside of us that if we harness well, uh, whether they are good or bad, we can use them for our purposes. And so I would encourage you, um, maybe maybe try and go out to a field somewhere or, or maybe uh, out from where there are too many people and and maybe like try to get angry and turn it on and then turn it off again. Maybe you can learn how to uh, take control of it. Maybe. Like I'd... what, yell it out? Yeah, I don't know, I mean. By all means, why don't we have a seance while we're at it? Don't be ridiculous, Falfar. Just... Bottle it down, boy. Take those emotions and you push them deep down inside. Ron, Ron clearly, <laughs> you're not being helpful. Go ahead and go to bed if you like. I'm having a good discussion here about about one's control mechanisms, ways to take ownership over one's own actions. As am I. Oh, well, I suggest that Sterling, this is quite wonderful a trait that you have, and if controlled, could be of great value to you and those around you. You're saying that I could harness the rage, perhaps, and you're saying that I should push it down. I am. There's I nothing would say, good in that let it out boy. when you really want to kill somebody. <laughs> I see. Let it all out then. So don't bottle it up. Don't. I mean, bottle it in, but like, wait till the right moment, like when you're, I don't know, fighting some hags, or for example, and then that's an appropriate time. Sounds like we have a comfortable middle ground with Esmeralda. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm a big help, I know. Uh, I just, I, I hate to see you guys fight. Oh, well. Then there is little chance of you spending much time with us. <laughs> it I seems mean, we disagree often. Very. Ron, why do you seek the darkness? Because I've grown tired of the hypocrisy of light. You've seen the hypocrisy here. Mothers willing to give up their own children for a pie. Yeah, that's messed up. Hiding behind a veneer of civility and light. It's outrageous. There's truth in darkness, boy. There's 
There's honesty. There's something pure. Yeah, pure darkness. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. Is there not purity in light? I. What, what would your father have told you? That there is purity in light. I, I would say that the love that a, a child feels from a good parent is purity. I would say, believe what your father tells you, not what this sorcerer crazy-eyed man says. What right. I would say, Sterling, is perhaps you should give some of your own thoughts some weight. Perhaps you should consider what you think about this. What you've heard from your father may be true where you come from, but perhaps that is not the case for Barovia. Good okay. evening. I'm gonna stand up and walk up the stairs. Esmeralda, what do you think? Listen, I don't know what this big deal is that everybody's making about Strahd. He seems like a pretty nice guy. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, this place, let's, yeah, sure, it's it's misty and you can't really see that far in the distance. Yeah, you got parents selling their kids to gypsies. You or like, but like, hey, there's, I'm sure there's also good things. Do you see what's going on with her, right? That what do you she mean? She was charmed the way I was? Yes, exactly. What do you mean, Charm? No, I mean, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, what is so good about Strahd again? First of all, he is like <laughs> super charming and has a great taste in like home decor. Am I right? I mean, we should have stayed there instead of staying at that mill fighting off hags. He does have a nice head of hair. <laughs> he has got great hair. <laughs> you, Sterling, have no hair, so that's, uh, that's a good point. I miss having hair. Oh. <coughs> Are you talking as... That doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Sorry. <laughs> it's true, but... <laughs> um, sorry, continue. <laughs> when you I'm just saying that, like, uh, I don't see what the whole big deal is. Uh, mm. He just seems like he wants, he's a little lonely, he wants to find love. Well, who are we to deny him that? I, I, uh, I totally disagree, but, I mean, I know you're not being yourself right now. Let's just give it some time and have this discuss discussion again, perhaps tomorrow evening. Am I confused at all by what he's saying? Like, how do I, how do I feel about uh, Give me an arcana check. Okay. At this point, I'm assuming I've seen charm spells wear off before. Uh, okay, so uh, that yeah. is a 24. Yeah, so you know how the charm spell works, um, but I don't necessarily, and I know that you might have, uh, you know that you might have kind of the uh, <clears throat> conditions that would come from something like that. Like you're, you like somebody that you maybe didn't like, but it's hard, but it's hard for you to kind of come to terms with that. Um, and kind of work that out in your brain, so it's your head and your heart kind of fighting with it itself. Wait, so you're saying that? No, because like he totally made made perfect sense back there, and I don't see why. All I'm just all I'm saying is sleep on it a little bit, <laughs> maybe one day. That's a good idea. Maybe, maybe sleep on it. Yeah. 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 Okay. As long as I don't have to like babysit. I think the children are with Muskoka. You should be okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you all turn in for sure. the evening. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Can I just say? Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Happening, sure. I'm just gonna prepare myself for bed, and yeah. I'm going to take the key that I have. Yeah. And wrap it around my amulet. I have an amulet that uses the focus. Okay. And I'll just have it so that when I'm wearing my amulet, there's also the key hanging there too. Cool. Very cool. Interesting. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. All right. Um, you all settle in for the evening. Good night, Dimitri. Good night, Rome. Good night, Muskoka. Do we hear him through the wall? <laughs> good, good. Good night, Sterling. Good night, Miss Meralda. Good night, John Boy. What? <laughs> uh, Sterling. Um, as you sleep, you dream. Um, and one in particular, and you, it, your dreams often go back to happy times with your father and times being sick. Um, but this time, 
um, you your eyes open up and you are in the room that you currently sleep in. Um, you're in stasis, uh, but for some reason, your child brain is 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 dreaming. Um, and even though you're awake, you start to see um, the door open slowly within your room. Um, you look down, and your body is that of your child self, your human boy self. Um, but you can't move. Okay. Uh, and you're currently s sitting against the, the, the wall in the back, legs on the ground, but completely still, almost like sleep paralysis. And as this door opens, a bony hand reaches around the door with these long black fingernails and open the door a little further. And this creature begins to pull itself through the door as you kind of sit and peer directly into these soulless eyes that come around the corner. You see purple, bluish skin, long black hair as this creature begins to crawl foot by foot towards you, you not being able to move. It stops and it looks over in Falfer's direction and it begins to climb his bed up the post, across the sheets. He's completely asleep. Yeah. Callie is completely asleep in her bed. Since it's a century's rest, I'm not actually asleep. I, I'd imagine I can still have something like a dream, but I should be able to kind of break out of that. Would I be able to like do that and stand up and go to Falfer? Give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. Just keeps going. Uh, how wise am I? Load, load, load. Uh, okay, all right. I'm gonna do with that. That's eleven. Not enough. As she continues to slink up, and she straddles Falfer, yes. and you can see, you go, and you know now. <laughs> Thanks, Sterling. And you know now that this is one of the hags that disappeared. And she kind of looks down at him and she smiles and this slobber begins to like <laughs> pour kind of down this black ichor and onto Falfer's face. And she looks at you with this toothy, toothy grin and you snap out of it. You come back to your century's rest. The door is closed. They're both in their beds. Uh, and you can come out of your century's rest, but that will break your long rest. What do you do? Um, but I can go back in and, and it resumes the long rest, right? That's yep. what we've done before? Yep. Okay. Yep. So you lose um, whatever time you're, you're up for. I'll do that and I'll go over to Falfer and I'll kind of, you know, push his shoulder. Falfer. Do I wake up? Constitution saving throw. Constitution. <clears throat> I could give you a full, like, metal <laughs> hand slap across the face, maybe. <laughs> That's a ten. No plus one, so a minus one, I mean nine. With a nine? nine. Okay, you wake up. Okay. Um, and you kind of come up, but you're kind of still quite groggy. Uh, did you did you spit on me or something? And I don't feel anything, do I? No. Okay. So I'm just like, uh, what, is, what is up? What is, uh, what is wrong, my friend? I, I saw something like, kind of like a dream or a vision, but it was one of the hags, and it came in through the door, and it climbed on top of you, and oh. it drooled on your face. Oh, that is a scary dream. I, I just, I mean, I don't dream those sorts of things a lot, and, and of course, that was really scary, what we went through before, but I mean, that, this was pretty scary, too, and I just thought maybe that, um, are you okay? Uh, I, I mean... I'm tired, <laughs> but I am, uh, I'm fine, no, I'm fine, I'm okay. fine. Uh, okay, should, um, uh, I should, guess I, I should let you. Maybe you um, need some rest, my friend. Yeah. Do you rest? Well, I sit down and I watch the door and listen for any potential intruders. But does your mind rest? N no, because this body it does not sleep, it does not have the... It must be very difficult. When I fall asleep, 
I am dead like a like a, like a small pelt of an animal with no no body inside. Yeah, I thought Truly it. Truly dead like a like dead sleeping. Right. Yeah. So I, I could I turn my brain off completely, and then in the morning, it works so well. I th- I mean that sounds really nice, and I kind of remember what sleep was like, but not very much anymore. Mm. But um, I guess I'll let you get back to it. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. And if uh, the hag comes and spits on my face again, just yeah, wake me up again. I like that. Uh, Thanks for <clears> protecting <throat> me. I. Okay, I'm gonna sleep now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I go back. Okay. <laughs> so as you get into your century's rest, in the corner, you swear you see a, sh- a silhouette. Yeah. A flash of a silhouette, like somebody standing there. You look back, and it's gone. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you get into your century's rest. The rest of the night goes fairly well. Um, Felfer tosses and turns. Um, you can hear him kind of muttering under his breath. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and Callie also sounds like she's talking in her sleep. Um, give me a perception check, please. Yeah, okay. Sixteen. Um, with a sixteen, you hear uh, muttered words, and they're fairly incoherent, as they're kind of, she's kind of in a dream state. But you hear, oh, not again. And you hear, really? Haven't we done enough? And that's what you, that's, that's what you kind of catch from that conversation. Yeah, I'd like you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> wisdom. Oh, come on, aye, aye, aye. Twelve. Okay. Um, you all wake up the next morning. All of you have... Um, <laughs> <That's> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, In other words, fail! <laughs> um... Uh, just uh, one thing, Jay. Yeah. Uh, during the evening, I know I got that one item off the hag, sort of the two-pronged thing you were talking about. Mm-hmm. At some point before I pass out, can I try okay. and uh, get a sense for what it does and all that? Yep. Yeah. Sure. Uh, give me an Arcana check. Yeah. That's, uh, I believe, a 20. Not natural. Yeah. So um, with the 20, mm-hmm. uh, I told you it's worth. Uh, I'd have to look it up again um, to tell you exactly how much it was worth. Um, but you're not really looking at its worth. You're kind of trying to understand it. Yeah, what it's and it's does. a mundane item that is used as a, as an arcane focus for a specific purpose. So in and of itself, it doesn't have any ability, uh, but it does have value and quite a bit of value, I think. From okay. what I remember. Cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Sounds good. Um, Falfer, mm-hmm. uh, you wake up, um, and as you wake up, you feel like um, <clears throat> really groggy, mm. um, like you haven't benefited from your rest. Like I haven't benefited from a rest? You haven't benefited. I have made <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Pie withdrawals? No, that's good and, because and, I, and have, you I have just reset one of my skills. You kind of have uh, your dry mouth and you wake <clears> up. It's like you you don't remember not sleeping, but it feels like you you haven't at all. Um, you kind of clutch the bed and try and wake up and you feel a weakness like you're not quite at your potential, like okay. you do feel in the morning. Yeah. You're at five points reduced to your maximum hit point yeah. level. Okay. Um, and as you kind of stand up, um, you feel kind of a burning sensation on your on your chest under kind of your clothing that you were sleeping in. Okay. So this is like a temporary hit points situation. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, um, is anyone else up that I can tell when I look around? Callie immediately gets up, jumps out of bed, she goes, I gotta pee, I gotta pee, I gotta pee, and she kind of like <laughs> dances her way around the door and out, and out the door. <clears throat> oh, oh, okay. Huh. Oh. It's uncanny how you... <laughs> <laughs> I know Mel and Mel and Callie. So. Um, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put my hand on Sterling's shoulder and I go, Sterling, <clears throat> yes? did... You, did were you able to uh, get some rest at all? Well, what I consider to be rest, yes. I feel I feel terrible. I woke you up last night. I'm sorry. No, it's, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fine. I just yeah, I usually wake up like that and uh, have uh, have lots of energy. But right now I'm feeling so uh, I just drained. Drained. 
Would yeah. I have kind of pieced it at a, I together hear a at all? I a voice in my head as well. It's like a, a voice of God or something. <laughs> you hear the voice of God? Uh, hey God, I'm not sure if he's the Is God. But, you know, um, no, I'm. Uh, is repeating most of my words. <laughs> no, I just feel very drained. Oh, you can give me a religion check, please. Okay, this. That's a plus zero. But a sixteen. Uh, with a 16, you know what happened, and the fact that he doesn't feel well, there's a correlation that you tie to seeing what you did, and you're pretty convinced as a child that this hag did something to him, whether you're sure of it or not. The dream woman. The, the, the dream woman? The hag. Oh, the, right, right, she, right, right. She must have done something to you. You, you, you think so? Yeah. I'm just, maybe, I mean... It's so strange. I was just, it, yeah, maybe. I don't know. She must have done something when she drooled on your face. <clears throat> she drooled on my face. With well, that, we'll go over to the other room. <laughs> um, the kids start to stir, um, and you kind of wake up with one of them kind of pulling on your on your mustaches, um, and and the other one's kind of like tapping yeah. you on the forehead, yeah. and you kind of wake up, and they're both kind of standing, oh, smiling at the edge of the bed. Kids are so creepy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Uh, you, uh, I'm going to look around the room. Is, is Esmeralda still sleeping? Yes. Oh, shh. You guys want to go get some food downstairs? Yeah, I'd like that very much. Okay, let's the boy go. Says. Don't wake up, Esmeralda. Okay. She can like, and then, I, then I feel this like pain on my wrist, like, oh, jeez, I forgot about that. <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs> oh. Well, I'm out of it now, right? No, no. charm? No. I'm still. Ch- no. Oh, that's okay, hours though. This I mean, evening. Yeah. I don't know why, but like, <laughs> he's still a good guy, so it's all right. Okay, let's, uh, let's go get some food. <laughs> In fact, I have some food on me still, which yep. I stole from everywhere we've gone. Yeah. Uh, so I'll give them uh, a couple of the apples I yep. have. Yep. And uh, we'll start walking out to go downstairs. Okay. Um, but I'd like to knock on their doors as we as we go. Okay. Uh, and as you're kind of walking, um, the the boy um, says, uh, "Oh, um, I, I, uh, what's your name?" Oh, I'm Skulka. Oh, my name's Freak. Freak. Yes. Oh, and this is Myrtle. Freak Myrtle. Hi. Hi. Myrtle says. He's those, about seven, she's about four. Those are great names. Um, as you go down, and you hear um, them kind of get up and open the door as Myrtle does, you kind of start to come to as he walks out with the kids. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> 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 and then I'll throw the covers off of me. And then stretch and try to make sense of everything that's happened and can't. Yeah. yeah. So you can say to the kids, uh, oh, wait, I almost forgot something. I'm going to go back and put my armor on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very wise choice. Very good. Yeah. Good. All right. So you all muster. We'll go back to your room now. You guys start to kind of come to. Um, you feel rested. Um, and uh, you both wake up. Kind of more or less at the same time. <clears throat> Breakfast. I'm with you on that. Sleep well? I think I did. Let's get my armor. Hey guys. Have you seen the kids in Muskoka? They were like here, but like, have you seen them? Did Esmeralda? she enter our room? She pokes her head in your room. <laughs> Esmeralda, please have a sense of pri- pr- propriety. We're trying to dress in here. Oh, please, it's nothing I've never seen before. <laughs> I'll meet you downstairs. And, and Callie mm. kind of, as you see that, say that, behind you, Callie passes in a towel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a, one that's obviously clearly too small. <laughs> of course she does. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll be right down. I'm just good by Do you ever feel like we ended up with the wrong group of people? <laughs> I always feel out of place, if that's what you mean. Yeah. 
I'm gonna head down. Okay. <laughs> After prejudice, prejudice, yeah. prejudice, thank you. Prestidigitation. Yeah. Prestidigitation. Prestidigitation. Uh, Prestidigitation. All my clothes. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. All right. So you all kind of come down, um, get dressed, get your armor on, yes. <laughs> come down, uh, and and kind of collectively mm-hmm. settle in for breakfast. It's actually quite quiet. There's nobody else in the in the place. Um, Danica comes out, asks you what you'd like, brings out a, an assortment of kind of breakfast food, some eggs, hard-boiled eggs, uh, and some bacon, and some loaves of bread. Um, you imagine it's wolf bacon. Um, oh. <laughs> made from the steaks oh. from the evening before. Yum. <laughs> and, um, nice and fatty. Yeah, yep. exactly. Uh, Callie uh, takes some time to come down, um, and she finally kind of comes and saunters down the, uh, the the steps and kind of sits down, slumps down, kind of beside you guys. Um, what do you do during this time? Uh, I'll, I'll wave to the kids and kind of give them the closest thing to a smile I can muster. Um, what are your names? Freak. I'm Myrtle. Do you know how to play hopscotch? Hopscotch. <laughs> yes, we do. Can you teach me? Y- yes, we can. You okay. you know what it's called, but you've never played? I've seen kids play, but I never got to play. I watched from the window, but I didn't get to play. Oh, well, let's... Yeah, you can play with us. Okay, after you're done eating, can you show me? Okay, and they all run and they start to like, like shove their faces with food. Why? I was just getting ready. You don't want to get sick. <laughs> I was just getting ready to start cutting up their food for them. Like they haven't. Mm. They've they've obviously been well fed, but they are obviously feeling better about their situation uh, <laughs> since the, the the evening before. Um, you guys all eat. Go ahead. Yes, Sterling. Why don't you take them to play? Have fun. Don't step on any of them. Oh, I didn't think of that. Well, he hasn't stepped on any of us yet. It's Not true. yet, that's true. Maybe, uh, I think they'll be fine. Yeah, like Falfer's the size of the kids, so like, he would have been a good test if he was Falfer's there. nimble like a rat. Falfer, ha- He'll never be caught. Stunning hasn't stepped on you yet, has he? <laughs> Not yet, no. Hey, yeah, you, you feeling okay there? Uh, Foul fart? Uh, I'm feeling like I did not get the rest I needed. Mm. Maybe he if did you step could on just you. slow down. Yeah, just you don't a look little. so good. He may have stepped on me in the night. I'm not sure. Perhaps, maybe he kicked me. I'm not sure. I just, no, it was just a poke on your shoulder. I promise. No, you, but you were saying it was the hag. He was saying it is the hag. I, I, when I was laying, sitting down, watching the door, I, it was like a dream or a vision or something, and I saw you had a nightmare. One of the hags come in the room and it climbed on his bed. I guess on nightmare. It's been a long time, but climbed on his bed and on top of him, and it drooled on his face. Okay, no more details. Uh, That's gross. kind of a no, no. Story. You see, the, ki- the kids just go white mm. as all the blood kind of rushes out of their faces. I'm sorry, kids. Maybe and I should have kind of stare. said this. She's when back. No, it's just a dream. Don't worry. Was it just Who's a dream? Back? I don't think so, because look at him now. Mm. Was it just a dream? It looks like he was woken up in the middle of the night and had a poor sleep. I think it was real. I'm going to take a... She's here? I'm, I'm going to well, take a not, leaf I don't see her, from my pouch, and I want to cast uh, Detect Poison and Disease on him. On who? Favar. Yeah, okay. Favar. <laughs> um... And <clears throat> explain how you do it. Well, so I take my leaf out of here and my pouch, <laughs> and I'm just gonna like kind of start like rubbing it on him and say, "Don't worry." Uh, what I'm are you doing? See if you got some disease. Just stay still. Stop I, making your weird noises. I've got no yeah. disease. And I'll, yeah. Okay. So, and as you, uh, is there vo- vocal, yeah, verbal, no, and I somatic components? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> those are the precise uh, words. And it comes back negative from what you see. Well, good news. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, 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 but but give me a moment. So I'm going to uh, mm. I'm going to use my primeval awareness mm-hmm. and uh, use an action to expend a ranger spell slot mm-hmm. to sense whether any aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead are present within one mile of us. Ooh. Celestials, fiends, or undead? Uh, no, elementals. Elementals. Fe- uh, phase, fiends. Phase. 
or undead celestials and aberrations as well. And I think the answer is yes. Millions. Did you say theme? <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. How many miles? Six miles? Uh, six miles. Yeah, no. I'm going to use really? uh, Divine Sense. And I can sense anything. Hmm? Is it six miles within your? Do you know exactly where terrain? they are? I forget I what primeval awareness. I do not. I'm not notified of where they are. I'm just aware that they are within six miles. You sense uh, the presence of undead within a six mile radius, okay. for sure. Yeah. Um, no celestials, no fiends. Okay. No fey. No fey. I'll I'll use divine sense. Yeah. Which is um, similar. But I can sense anything affected by the hell spell, or know the location of any celestial fiend undead within sixty feet. That is not behind total cover. Yeah, nothing. Um, I'd like to use uh, common sense. And <laughs> you only have two now, of those. Uh, could, <laughs> you've never used that before. So strange. <laughs> Wouldn't it just be a dream, and you had a bad night's sleep? Perhaps it's too early to assume the worst. Perhaps there is something at foot, uh, something at issue, but isn't it more likely that you just had a bad night's sleep, Falfar? I mean, potentially, yes, you're probably correct, but I certainly <clears throat> do not feel great. <laughs> and if this. Yeah, you don't look so good. Looks yeah, terrible. Thank you. That's I always look this bad. way. This is how I look, so thank you for that. I'll turn to one of the oldest. You got it, buddy. He's certainly no Strahd. Is Freak the oldest? Hey. <laughs> yeah. He, he, that he is not. Sorry, buddy, hey. but you know. Listen, I'll I'm do. not Strahd, that's true. <laughs> I'll, I'll lean, lean over to Freak, yeah. and I'll say, has anything like this ever happened to you when you were with them? No. Um, we had nightmares, but that was just because it was a scary place. I, I don't think I want to play hopscotch anymore. Aww. Oh, Falfer, look what okay. you done, eh? I, Whoa. You mean Way sleep? to ruin the mood, Falfer. You mean sleep poorly? Couldn't you have let the boy have his fun? You guys should play hopscotch, there's no worry. It's it's okay, if they don't want to. I'll, I'll turn to the kids and go, listen, kids. Huh. I am sometimes uh, crazy, make up weird stories. This is probably just a crazy dream, and uh, by all means, you should play with Sterling. He's a good uh, player of games. Deception Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not deceiving them. You're telling them it's probably not a dream? Well, it was probably wasn't real, and it was only a dream, and well, you know. You also said he's a good player of games. That it was more he's never that. played. Okay, so but okay. does it take much to lie to kids? Does it? Does it? No. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, I have a DC in mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> Three or higher. Check you say, and because I'm quite talented, uh, deceiving people, I rolled a thirteen. Mm, that is enough. Uh, he says, "Okay, if you think it's safe." I do. Okay. I really do. Okay. Not to mention, look at how big and strong he is. Yes. He will protect you. Yes. He look. He does look strong. Yeah. Every kid wants a Warforged friend. Every kid. Yes. Does he transform? <laughs> you mean into like I a little char? Tried. Yeah. <laughs> like I had. No, I, he may be a I robot had, in disguise. I had one of Blink's, Blinksy's toys, and 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 it was a it was a cart that turned into a man. Oh yeah, Blinsky you know makes those. I don't think you can turn into Blinsky. A, into a wagon or anything. Uh, he makes tried. great toys. <laughs> I'm not sure how to even start. Transforming toys almost magical. No, it was just really well made. I think. Genius. Where's Blinsky at? He's in Velaki. He has a shop oh. nearby. Hmm. Hold on, you're not a toy. I no, no, I'm not. As you guys can continue eating your breakfast, um, Callie kind of leans over to you, Sterling, as she's sitting beside you. She goes, Sterling, you said you had a dream? Yes. Well, uh, sort of. I had one, too. Um, and I don't tell people about these, but my whole thing, you know, the, the abilities I have and all that stuff. Uh, Wings. I get, um, somebody kind of speaks to me. I don't talk about it a lot because people think I'm uh, but um, it is a reoccurring vision that I have. Um, I have a guardian angel that kind of gives me and speaks to me in visions, um, and I keep having the same vision. And it's 
the vision of a mountainside uh, and a sun that rises above this mountainside. Um, like it's drawing me there. Um, and he tells me to do good things sometimes through visions and so on. But anyways, I thought I should tell you because I wanted to share it. The sun, like the one in, in the church? Like the sun rising behind this mountain. And there's like a building with like a sun on it. Oh. Do you think it's a real building? I don't know. I've seen it many times. I've, he's, he's usually never wrong. Like that's a place we should go? I get the sense that that's the case. Do you think it might be that, is it Markovia? Is that the name of it? Mm-hmm. The Abbey. Maybe we should go. It sounds familiar. Would, would you? Guys? Or we could just stay here and drink. I'm, I'm good. I, you know, I don't like to usually follow. I mean, he urges me, and he's like, "There's a cat in the tree, and there's a cat in the tree." Fine. People always ask me to help, and I just so we're so listening. done with it. We're we're all aware of this. Oh, yeah, we all She's whispering. Hearing? You guys can give me perception checks to see if you guys yeah, can I hear. Would like to. I would like to. Yeah. I would like to very much. She thinks she's 14. whispering. She's not. Twenty-two. So she's not whispering very much. No. Okay. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Well, anybody under a ten. <clears throat> here, here. Oh, okay. Wait over here, but you can tell she's trying to huh. confidently. Under a ten. Over a ten. You're saying. Yeah. You, look. I heard it. He said it to me clearly. <laughs> you have communication with, with the. Oh, who is this? I didn't really want everybody to know, but it's it's an angel. It's um, <clears throat> it's like a guardian that I have that speaks to me. Now is this open? Mm. Oh, you know, yeah. like no big no. deal. Yeah. I just have an angel that talks to me and tells me what to do. Well, oh, better than my dreams. My dreams are like usually like my recurring ones is me naked in school having a t- test and like I didn't study. Oh, I have those dreams too. Um, but that one sounds like, Esmeralda? you know, like an actual one. <laughs> Last night I did. No! Sorry. Uh, anyways, um, and she goes, Danica, can I get, is it too early for wine? I, um... <laughs> hey, Danica, before I, that, uh, just... Yes. It, we, we might need to follow this voice, and maybe we should start listening to it more. Oh, no. I've, I listen to it all the time. I just don't usually follow it. You know, Dimitri um, might be right. We might have to... What is he telling you to do again? It's been drawing me to this place. This mount, it, There's a mountain, and the sun rises above this building. The building has a sun on it. The sun rises. I thought I told you guys Esmeralda, about this Esmeralda, does that sound familiar to you? What? Can I ask her? And Esmeralda, give me a history check. Sure. Sun rises. Maybe it has uh, to 15. With, um, with a 15, you know that there are a number of... Um, hmm. give, me his, uh, give me a religion check as well. Okay. Uh, 17. Okay. You know that there are a, a couple uh, mountain ranges uh, in Barovia uh, mm. to the north and the south. Uh, you know through the studying that you've done of Van Richten's materials um, that the there is Kresk is in the mountains um, or is starting into kind of the foothills of the mountains and it's like cold and there's snow there um, and um, you know that there is a abbey, and when we, they talked about the abbey of St. Markov, uh, were you part of that conversation last night with Danica? I don't believe so. I no, think I might have gone upstairs. upstairs. Yeah, you just you know that there's an abbey to the Morning Lord up there. Listen, I know that there's like the sun doesn't shine in many places here, but there is, according to Van Richten's studies, who I who I was. Uh, who I was uh, following for a while. There are these mountains and crests in the foothills that have like snow and there's like an abbey there and I know that they worship the Sun Lord so maybe that's where the sun thing is and maybe that's where we're supposed to be going. We should go. That's it? That has to be it? It's, it's probably it. It must be it. Would you know how to lead, lead us there? Would I know how to lead them there? <laughs> um, with your roles, you know it's to the west. You've never been there yourself. You just have read about it in his paperwork uh, and in his research. Um, and you know it's, you take the Svalic Road left, uh, west 
basically. And it's it's just inside the mist. Like, it basically borders the, the, the Barovia mists. I mean, like, I've never been there myself, but if you, you know, take the road west, it should lead there. It's in that direction. But are we trying I don't to know get how Irina? many more abbeys there should be. Are we just trying to get Irina for Strahd? You think she's there? Like, I don't want to let him down. We should got to find her and bring her back to him. More importantly, what are we going to do about these children? We can't just drag them along. Yeah, if well, they're not fighting, they're just like mouths to feed. I really don't want well, to. Well, I don't know about dumping them, but we could probably f- find someone to love them. I don't need too much. <laughs> Esmeralda, would the Abbey be interested in helping children? I mean, it's an Abbey, probably. Hmm, what do you think, uh, children? Would well, you like to go live with. At the fun abbey on the mountain? Hmm. I mean, it, <laughs> anywhere here, I don't know if it's, it's very fun, but. Um, I know my parents didn't want me. It sounds like maybe you guys don't either. No, no. We uh, don't. Oh, no. Uh, no, no. Uh, that's not it at all. That's don't patronize the children. Don't. We don't. Don't listen to Mr. Grubb. You don't? Oh, no. No, we, 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 we are not do. your parents. We can't be watching after you. We, don't we will find you we will adequate watch care. You and take care of you and, like, get you to Irina. We will find you adequate, adequate and care. And then that Irina Could comes you use that you. silence spell again on my friend? <laughs> You, you gotta slow down just a little bit. I think I also, got Also, like, it. kids, like, we have to, like, battle things all the time. There's, like, evil things chasing us. There's it's irresponsible to bring children. You would not want to be around the things that we have to be around all the time. This is actually for Thank you, Esmeralda. But you're speaking of them as if they are worse than monsters. Than no, I am regular. not. I am I'm saying not. that they hey, are listen. an inconvenience that we cannot take on. Oh, all I was saying, I was just very honest in that I don't have the best maternal instincts and they would not be the best in my life. Fine, fine. You do nothing with them. You please do not even look at them. And we will take them to, be, to the Abbey. How about you, me? It, it's a very safe place. Is, we know nothing about the Abbey. Is Irina at the Abbey? Or is that where what I'm hoping she is? I'm trying to find out. Perhaps. We don't know where she is, but if maybe there are others at the Abbey and who if can... If Callie's dream is anything to go by, there may be someone there who has answers for us. Can okay. We? You will probably be safer there than with us for any long period of time. Okay. Much safer. Velaki seems like quite a safe place as Barovia goes. Perhaps it would be more responsible to leave them here. There's a temple in town. I'm sure the priesthood would take on the children. Oh, did you just do something good? I don't want the inconvenience of the children. Oh, it sounded like you were trying to take care of them. Don't be ridiculous. I don't care about Very the, considerate uh, offer. Quite, wow. quite nice, actually. Very dark. Callie, Callie just finishes guzzling her first cup of wine for, with breakfast. And she goes, uh, The priest, the vampire lord, killed the priest, remember? Yeah, he was on fire. He was vampire oh, lord? Oh, yeah, let's not go there. Well, let's There's just vampires think about here. To, okay, so how about we take the kids who are clearly not wanting to stay where there is a vampire lord? He lives on the How mountain. about we take oh. you to. The Abbey, is everyone okay with that? Oh yeah, I think we should. I yes, th- and I think we should all be going there, not just like split up. I yeah, yeah. agree, of course, yes. Uh, you can sit on my shoulders. I think we I was going okay. to suggest we get a cart, but you know, that's probably not that's, a good idea. How about we no. pay Danica to watch over the children in the interim till Irina can take them? Uh, so, so far, you've said that's yes, and you've said yes, and you've said yes, Esmeralda, and Sterling has said yes, and I have said yes, and Ron, you are holding out. Why? Let's just take the kids with us. Because it makes no sense. You don't just bring children in on, onto an unknown adventure where there may or may not be danger. We don't know anything about the Abbey. We don't know anything about the pathway to the Abbey. We know nothing, and you are proposing that we take children into not knowing anything. Uh, of the course, actually... Children, the Abbey was from Callie's dream, and the voice prompted her to go there. Oh, yes, by all means, let's just assume every voice that people hear in their head should be listened to. Well, so far it's worked out pretty well. It has worked out pretty well. When yeah. we hear her voices, yeah. we also get um, potions or necklaces or... I would say the voices are pretty good so far. Do yeah. what you wish. They're none of my business. We got a necklace. And I'll just ignore the rest, I guess. Mm. Okay, so right, who has oh, that? You a oh, necklace? Was it, no, I'm it. sorry, the orb. Right? Was it the orb? Was it? I'm sorry, I mistook it. Is for someone a wearing the orb as a necklace? <laughs> yes, he was wearing it like a necklace. Wait, a someone got a necklace? Long oh necklace. yeah, Falfer has some necklace. 
You got a necklace from the children. There's a necklace? <laughs> I have no idea what Did you're talking about. Did it have the bag? Huh? With the wings? Did, did the voice in your head lead you to it? No, nope, no voices. What's it made out of? I've not, I've, what, the, what? Falfa, do yes. you have something to tell us? Listen, listen, my friends. <laughs> I, I was talking about the orb that we all follow all the time. Is do I believe That Sterling them? has on his string. Easy. Is he like a deception That's check? Give me, give me a perception <laughs> check. A perception <laughs> check? Yeah. Okay. You see that none of us believe you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at the orb with the string uh, tied to it, or the rope tied to it. It okay. doesn't look like a necklace. Um, yes, that is a uh, 24. Okay, you feel uh, a little hand dig Aww. into one of the pouches where they saw you stow a certain necklace. Okay. Uh, and you feel kind of that I, happening. I, I grab the hand. <laughs> okay, okay. And I hold the hand of the child and I okay. go, Do we see It's the little girl. It's, it's a Myrtle. Girl. Hi, Myrtle. What are you doing? Show them the necklace. Uh, yes, Falfa. Show no. us the necklace. Yes. It's a pretty yes, little one. Like, it was show the, the necklace. necklace. Oh, you're great, Myrtle. I give the, her another, like, the carrot The necklace is not like for you to talk about, Myrtle. <laughs> Give me intimidation oh, check. I'm in your spot, Martha. Give me intimidation check. Uh, can I cast uh, mage hand to send a hand behind where you can see uh, to where sure. I saw her? Sure. Uh, you can do that, but give me a uh, arcana check to see how well you sneak it through. 14. Sure. The 14. Yeah, that's a 13. Um, she says, Nobody talks to me like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, that's right. You're, you're I'm and right. I'm taller than you are. <laughs> um, you're right. I let. You're absolutely right. I will not speak to you like that again. And it's very wrong that people have spoken to you like that in the past, isn't it, everyone? Balfour is clearly. I don't know. I'm us. starting to change my mind about my kid thing. I, I like her. <laughs> Dimitri, what thank you? He's clearly lying to us. Falfar, will you produce this necklace for us or not? What necklace are you talking about? The one that, the one that, that she's talking uh, about. The, it was a 13, by the way, on the Arcana. Okay, give me a, uh, the perception check. What was your perception check? Before? 24. Okay. Uh, you see this kind of <laughs> ghostly hand kind of come from under the table and around, I, and it's trying to get to I the I grab the, the bag with the okay. necklace around okay. yeah. in it, and I, I yeah. go, fine, fine, fine. I found a necklace at the top of the tower when we were there and we burned it down. I did not want it to go to waste. So I protected it with my life for all of us. How brave of you. Right? Falfar. Thank you, Esmeralda, for the vote of confidence. I just can't look at you the same right now. Although, on the other hand, I've never trusted you, so this is, you know, pretty on par for what you do. I pay very little attention to what you think of me anyway, so thank you. Show us the necklace, Falfar. Did you think that you shouldn't have it? What? Why did you hide it? Did you think that you shouldn't have it? Yeah, you no, I forgot yeah, why, about why did I you forgot hide about it? it until the children talked about the necklace. Oh, wait, did you uh, did you take it out for us to see, or are you just yeah. hold? No, it? I yeah, have yeah, the, I had the bag. The bag. In my hand. And there's yeah. you, you don't see the necklace though. Will yeah. you show us the necklace, Falfar? Yeah, if the children brought it to us, it's it. It wasn't one of yours. Was it? And I will show you the necklace. No, he found it in the windmill. It's no, it's no big deal. It's in a trade by the children. I'll show you. Um, Give me just a second. Oh, see, they're useful. You're looking for another necklace? No. <laughs> <laughs> if okay. he had that kind of foresight, just bravo. Murder <laughs> says, I take it. Falfi, honesty is always the best politics. <laughs> she says, Falfi, yeah. honesty is always the best politics? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she says. Yes, Falfi, yes, it really is. Yes, you're very yes, I uh, I'm just sort of smiling coldly as I as I okay. you know egg him on now. So I uh, so I go I go and I I um I pull my my hands towards the pouch. I look back and I reach into my bag. Okay. For a holy symbol that I have. Okay. That I'm carrying in my okay. equipment pack. Okay. And and I attempt to pull it. Slide out. a hand. Okay. Do we are? Perception checks. Clever. Clever boy. Clever boy. Oh, I hate Redeemed Beyond. Please just. Land. Land. Ooh, uh, that's a 23. 23. 13. 13. And you said uh, a sleight of hand? Yeah. That. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's a 19. 19. Okay, then. That is an 8. 
everyone notices that you're trying is, to is, pull. Is he? That's uh, the wrong bag. All oh, right. Okay. Here's the pouch, and I show the purple pouch. And ah. okay, fine. Here's the necklace. Here. Okay. You want? You like it? You like it? Look. There it is. Look. There is a necklace. If you don't no, mind. No, I do mind. Thank you very much. You stay your distance, Mr. Man. Do you know what it does? <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, Belfi. Do you know what it does? I have no clue what it does, but none of you found it. So have you put it on? is this not a human size? Thing? So, so it's a, it's a human size necklace. It's it kind of glimmers uh, bright gold, and it's got three little orange beads yeah. on it. Yes, from perhaps this I wonder if any of the magic casters within our group might put it to better use. I don't I can know. Think of three. Looks I can like, f- yeah. If we had a useful magic caster in our group, you might be right. Uh, <laughs> I would like to cast... Foul, uh, how dare you! No, I shouldn't do this. You're clearly lying to us. I'm not. I'm and you're holding... misdirecting us by, no. by, by making me the issue. Well, here is... Falfar, here... you lied about it. Why? Because I was trying to hide it. Why? Why? <laughs> Remember, this is part of the course. You I'd like to... Uh, Even if fighting. it doesn't actually hit him, can I cast Mage Hand to just slap him across the face? <laughs> oh, even if, even if it does nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's what yes. I do. So it's a wispy hand, right? It's a wispy hand. Yeah. But it still has uh, enough to pick ten, up things and do things. Yeah. Can it do damage? No. 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 But it can pick up 10 pounds of weight and then. A yeah, drop so it y- there's resistance as it goes through. Yeah. But you feel like you've so, been hit by a gust of wind. So like, oh, what? Yeah. Esmeralda! On the other hand, I'm going to use mine to do the other cheek. (laughs) (laughs) With all of this going on, I'd like to quietly walk around the table and pick up his bag and dump it on the table. Okay, do you allow him to do that? No. Okay. It's while he's getting slapped in the (laughs) face, I want to use that time of distraction. Stealth check. Walk around. Perception check. All right. um, 17. Callie's starting her second glass of wine. Give her turn. 13. He rolled a 17. So just okay, yeah. Slowly walk around through Before the you glass, recognize it, he's pulled his bag and he just starts to dump it on the. What on are the, you doing? You, 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 you crazy looking buck tooth thing. Whoa. Hey, Whoa. Purple. What is purple. Does Callie see her dagger? Those are nice words, but like, <laughs> did you all these things are yours? Or are you just stealing everything? You're all my things. Please leave them alone. And I'm pull, just curious. I'll pull them back into my bag. Do I see things. the pie? <gasps> um, Was it packaged with anything? <laughs> There's a pie that yeah, tumbles I'm trying out. Trying to hide, yes. And there is a magical dagger that also right. tumbles out. <laughs> no, the magical dagger and was not in. I sheathed it. In what? <laughs> in, my, in my dagger sheath on my belt. Where are your other daggers? <laughs> Those are in my bag. So you had the dagger openly on your belt. Yes. No. For everyone to see. Her yeah. magical dagger that is very unique. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, we are just learning oh so much God. today about and No one was going to notice. Okay. Okay. No way so this so well. the, the pie tum- armed the magic dagger. The new pie tumbles out onto the thing along with, do you want to explain what is in? In my pouch? Yeah. 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 Sorry, was, oh, but, was, the, was the dagger in your bag, or was it on? No, it was on. on it was on me. Okay, it was on me. Um, as the are the arrows the on okay. my. And you were trying to hide the dagger. You just sheathed it in a yeah. somewhere that okay. in, in a dagger sheath. Okay, because I have clearly one. trying to hide it during last session, though. Uh, no, I picked it up last session. I picked and I Sneakily. hid the fact that yeah, I picked but you it up. Did it hidden, yeah, yeah, but that doesn't mean I couldn't put it in a sheath. Yeah. Um, Okay, so I have, gosh, manacles, a lot, a lot. <laughs> what? Pies. A, a, steel, a, steel, a steal mirror. Um, sorry, what did you say? Pie, clank, clank, clank. Pie made out of children. Kind of and oil, of. an oil flask, oh my steak, gosh. tinderbox, you torch, my ikelwaz. Are in my bag. What is an It's just a spear. So, so they we discussed just, that. So they tumble. Everything tumbles out. I have a couple letters um, from the, the Barovian families and the meat pie. pie. <laughs> the letters. See, if all these things are yours, there's no worry to be. You know, if you showed them. Uh, uh, Falfer, I think maybe you forgot to destroy one of the pies. Yes. Oh, I must. Oh, yeah. That I'll go and sit down. I'm no, you're. Sit. No, you're right. I, I totally forgot to. Uh, Is that my dagger? <laughs> oh my God! Are they also? The, are the kids still here when they see the pie? Yeah. Oh, this is your dagger. Yes! I thought it was from the, the hags. I didn't the... remember to pick it up, but I know that that's my dagger. Well, and then here, I'm so sorry. Here you go. I hit you pull it and close, and she got takes it. There you go. Back uh, in. I, uh, I, no, I, I, it fell on the ground, must have fallen when we were fighting. 
Perception check. Okay. This doesn't look good. Hmm. Uh, Felfer, if you wouldn't mind. A nine. Okay. What? Clearly, this is a case of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's actually a bunch of It's other like things. she's here. As it's actually a bag of equipment. <laughs> but uh, I do not have my case of bullshit with me. I left it. Falfer, why do you keep one of the pies? Yes, Falfer, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's really messed up. You need to destroy it. Uh, right now. No, I, I, like, like bury it or something. I, I our friends it. are in there. No, not your friends. You don't know these ones. I'm going to... I'm pick pretty sure the they pie. knew who went in there. <laughs> I want to pick up the pie, and okay. I'm going to go oh. outside with it. Wait. I, I rest a heavy, heavy hand on, like, like <laughs> my whole hand probably stretches across his <laughs> yeah. shoulders. So, yeah. so I, I, how yeah. about you sit right here? I will sit down. I'm sitting. Look, this is me sitting. Look, don't push anymore. I'm sitting down. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Do you begin to see my point, oh, Sterling? Okay, my friends. I see clearly. Listen. Listen. The pie, I could not let go. I have a slight, uh, I do not want know why, to be honest. I could not let go of the pie. Forgive me, I am at odds with, uh, with myself. But the, the pearls or the necklace, I chose to protect it for our good. And the dagger I picked up during battle because I sat on the stairs and I was going upstairs and I got it. <laughs> So the pearls you protected for our own good, then you know what they do. Oh, well, I assume that if they are magical, like the other things we got in the bags, that we would need to find out what they do. Because we do not know what they do. And you think to approach experts? I have been asleep since yesterday after we came to the building. Why? Looking at the uh, necklace, can we? Can I tell what Arcana it is? Arcana check. The same thing, if I could. Arcana check. Oh, it's an eight. That's a 15. Well, he's going to know. No. Okay, you don't know? I mean, need to spend some time with it to know. Yeah, yeah I probably need to examine it. Well, Falfo, <laughs> mm -hmm. I think in order to prove yourself worthy, mm. I would like to watch you destroy this pie. It's, a, it's on its way out the door. By destroy, yeah, he doesn't mean eat it. Yeah. Hey, Muskoka just left with it. Wait, wait, just what? one minute. Oh, yeah. So just I'll turn around and come back. What? Just uh, place the pie on the table. Okay. I need to watch you destroy the pie. I think you need to be clear with what you mean about destroy the pie. Yes, <laughs> like, like he doesn't mean eat it. I mean, I could destroy I, a pie too, but like not this one. Is there any? Oh my goodness! Is there any check? Is there anything? Sorry. I um. On the pie. For well. I'm sorry, I was reading about the necklace. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? So they brought the pie back. Yes. Into, Dimitri's basically demanding that I destroy the pie. Yes. So a Wisdom saving throw. Okay. That'll be easy. Valfer <laughs> is so wise. Uh, sorry. Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Uh, that's a six. <gasps> no, that, but that's with a bonus four. So that's good. So six. <laughs> oh, it was so two. Two, two plus four. Two plus four. <laughs> yeah, you're you're having a really tough time coming to terms with destroying this pie. Yeah. My friend, I think you should destroy it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I look at the pie, and I look at Sterling. I'm gonna be just leaning back, sort of just smiling, just like enjoying the fact that it's not me who's being <laughs> condemned. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I'm uh, also very much enjoying enhanceability. Yeah. Um, I can I can give advantage on a wisdom check. Would that count towards a wisdom saving throw as well? Uh, no. Uh, no, that's a check. It's mm -hmm. different than a saving throw. But that said, um, while you're all c c having this conversation. Freak grabs the pie. I'm going to give you a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Or, or dex. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, say a saving throw yep. to try and stop him. Okay. If you decide to. Yeah, I'll Is try to stop freak? him. Freak? Yeah. I thought it was Freak. No, Freak. Her name's our kid Freak. Oh, <laughs> <damn it. laughs> I got terrible parents. Terrible parents. parents. <laughs> okay. Yeah. With an 11, are you trying to stop it? Yeah. Okay, so he grabs it like this. Do not touch! And your hand. Yeah. You grab him to yep. stop him? Yeah, I'll Physically. Grab so he has now grabbed Freak's wrists. Yeah. Who is trying to pull the pie from him? And I'll just say, I'll just say calmly, I'll say, 
put your hands back in your pockets. Strength athletics check, please. <laughs> and I'm going to say, now, Freak, he has to do this himself. Can you believe what you're seeing here? I kind of want to just squeeze a little bit on his head. <laughs> Sorry, you said strength, Jay? Yeah, strength athletics, yeah. Um, okay, that's a nine. <laughs> it's enough. Oh. So he is a little boy yeah. who's not very strong. So you manage to kind of hold him, and he Man he, he kind of he he let he lets go okay. and kind of sits back in his chair and stares don't, at you. Don't worry, son. We're getting this sorted out. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm so glad I'm, I'm not in your position in right my now. pocket, and I'm just gonna take a piece of uh, straight piece of iron out of my pocket and just hold it like this and yeah. watch for what Falfer does. Okay. Can I ready in action? Should I ready yes, in action? Yes, you can ready in action. <clears throat> if he tries to take a bite of the pie, yeah. I'm going to cast whole person. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm going to cast Zephyr Strike. <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to attempt to take the pie out of the room with my extra movement. Oh. Okay. Opportunity to attack. <laughs> nope. All right. In fact, you're mo- you move like you the wind until the spend ends. Your ah. movement doesn't provoke opportunity. Where do you ah, go? Where do you go? Uh, I I'm uh, leaving the room, so out the main door. Okay. And How does this work? You just run really fast. Yeah. So you have to make a straight yeah. attack. Yeah. If we have mine. to roll initiative over pie, like I don't know. <laughs> it's been like yeah. a- initiative. Okay. So 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 go so ahead. I'm just, so how far? I'm, I'm just gonna try to hide. I can do. S- Sorry, uh, it's, I'm not sure how much because it doesn't. Thir- increases by 30 feet, so 60 feet total. So 60 feet. Yeah. So 55. All of a sudden, there's there's a blur. Falfer and the pie are gone. Huh. Um, they that you see he has ran run outside at at, at staggering speed. Um, I'd like you all to roll initiative. Oh. oh. I'm, gonna, go. I'm gonna st- and take one of the drinks on the table. Saw that coming. Yeah. <laughs> Callie goes, Dana, can, can I have a third, please? She looks oh, back. Dana is not no. there. Um, but uh, she goes, oh. Here we go. All right. Uh, so <laughs> <funny>. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm not even going to, like, so okay. you would have exited the whole. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's gone. He is out the door, and you don't know where to after that. Yep. 25 to, uh, 20 to 25. 19 to 20. 16. 19 to 20. Oh, no, sorry, so you said 19 to 20? No, sorry, 15 sorry. to 20. Sorry. 15 16. To 20. 16. Okay, who has the highest decks between Esmeralda and uh, Sterling? I have... Mine's a four. I, yeah, I have a plus two, so you're, you go first. Okay, okay, so Esmeralda's first. She's Sterling. <laughs> Is this happening? <laughs> It's, uh, it's a good thing I built all this Dwarven Forge terrain in front of us. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, this, this is, is going to be great next episode. <laughs> uh, 10 to 15. I just got a 15. 15? For, yeah. For initiative you're talking about, right? Falfer. <laughs> you're off in, like, Kuwait. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 5 to 10? 6. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, one to five. Four. Okay. Four. Oh, nine. which one has the higher, higher decks? Do you have higher than a minus two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Okay. Well, uh, yes, I do. All right. Uh, Esmeralda, you see um, Falfer go out the door, uh, and you have 30 feet, so you get to the outside. I have 55 feet. Uh, with, with Zephyr 30 feet over, over and above your, your regular yes. movement. Yep. Um, but you move, you can move that 60 all fast, or is it just added to your movement? Can you, do you have regular movement after that, after that 30 feet? Um, Try to figure out, like... It's, it's like uh, I guess it would be considered yeah. a surprise round for him. It is, first. exactly. Yeah. That's, so what, that's what that's we figured. Yeah. 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 So you you so you run outside and then you get thirty feet from there. Okay. Um, I wasn't planning on running Velaki today, so let me just bring up the map <laughs> of Velaki. Sorry. <laughs> so that it's all good. I like this. This is great. Um, 
It's just a lot of fun. <laughs> All fun. No, they no. They're like the, the, the children didn't roll, and Callie didn't and, and and yeah. Callie didn't roll because she's just enjoying no. the the action. Who do you blame okay. for this, Valfa? So you come out of right now. You, you come out of the of the inn, <laughs> um, <laughs> and there are. I'd say two buildings left and right that are within that 30 foot distance. Okay. Um, is there any way. Is Zephyr Strike a bonus action to, to or react or reaction to cast, or is it an action? It, it, it's an additional. There's a. Just says bonus action. Okay, so it's a bonus action. So yeah. you still get an action, actually, as part of this. Okay. So you move, you Zephyr Strike, you move really quick, you yep. get to the building. You yep. have two buildings that you can get to within distance. I can't get to behind this tavern. You. Uh, you could go around the corner if you wanted to, okay. but just basically around the corner. Okay. Um, and then you can take an action to hide if you'd like. That's what I'll do. Okay. I'd like you to give me a stealth check, please. Okay. Also, the contents of your bag is still on the table. Yes, that is true. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, Esmeralda, what do you do? Um, how how much am I able to catch up with him if I run after him? Um, you basically run out the door. And you get to the to just outside the doorway, um, mm-hmm. and he is, and give me a perception check, please. You could have used okay. your action to dash on top of. That. I could have dashed on top of the. Eighteen. Uh, you can, don't see him. You come out and he's gone. Ah oh, crap. Okay. Uh, Nimble. All right then. Um, Twenty-three on my stealth. Okay. Hmm. Do you want to take an action? I well, I don't see where he is, so I, I just kind of like will wait to see if I can see in which direction he's headed in. So I'm just surveying. You're the trying. Area. Are you trying to kind of figure out the direction he went in? Yes. Give me a survival check, and this will be your action. Okay, that is a dirty twenty. Okay, so you are trying to. Uh, it looks like the tracks go right. Around the building a little bit, but then they disappear. They, they, then you can't tell because it was in kind of the dirt. It was they were in kind of dusty dirt, and then they disappear okay. onto the cobble. Well, on my next, uh, that's the direction I will head in. Okay, uh, Sterling, you're up. Fall for your own deck. All right, <clears throat> so I'll bolt out right after okay. Esmeralda. Okay, um, and I'm just. You uh, get out. You yeah. basically almost hit her on the way out because she's right in the just outside the doorway. So you kind of come around her. Um, what do you do? Where did he go? Can I answer him on my? Yeah, uh, you can answer him now. Oh, he went right. I just don't know where. All right. Uh, so I'll use all of the movement, including dash, in the direction that she points. Okay. So uh, it looks like he just goes to the right. There's a building to the right, and there's a there's a, a road past that or path. And then uh, you can also go around the building. There's a couple different buildings. Uh, right. So I have no idea direction from there. No. Okay. All right. No. And I would suggest that you pass me notes for where you go from now on. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there mm-hmm. any Text way me for notes, me to or do you want no map? Like, do I get a sense oh. for what the map looks like? Uh, you get nothing. I okay. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> Except for a bye. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the mic team. We can, we can, you can just tell me what you want to do, and I'll, okay, I'll figure it out. Cool. Figure it out for cool. the sake of brevity. Okay, yep. uh, Sterling, what do you do? Uh, all right. So the directions yeah, I have ahead of me are. Uh, you come out. Yes. There's a building to the left, a building to the right, kind of kitty cornered. There's road behind. There's it basically the road goes around the inn, and then there's like an outhouse to the right around the building. That's okay, and and Esmeralda told me that he went. Right. Right. Okay. So like I'll it looks like he cur- he starts to curl around the building and then stops and then and then the path the the, the t- he makes a right out of the out of the doorway yeah. and then it stops here. So he could have gone to the building on the right. Could have gone around the building. He could have you don't know where. I'm going to proceed around the building. Okay. With as far as I can go. Okay. So you go another th- so. thirty feet around the building. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and I don't see anything from there. Right? No, no right. you don't. Uh. Well, no. Wait. Can you give me a perception check? Because you haven't given me a perception check yet. Hmm. Fourteen? No, nothing. All right. Okay, uh, Falfer, you're up. So Matsuoka, you're on deck. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at the pie. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. And. 
And uh, I'll, I'll lift it up in my hand in the, in the cover of darkness. Yeah. He just wants to get this bother. And I can see because I have dark vision. Yeah. Um, so I'll just look at the pie and go, um, you're, you're worth it, right? <laughs> like, you probably uh, should just have one last bite. Then I will destroy the rest of it. Then I can go back to my friends. I'll give you a, a more wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw? Okay. Uh, that is... Ooh, 24, natural 20. Ooh, You're good. 20. You're like, no, this pie is not worth it. Okay. And you, you think literally at, at the last, like, 10 minutes of what happened. Yeah. And you seriously start to <laughs> question what brought you to <laughs> where you are right now. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll have the pie, and uh, I'll just hold it up over my head and stand up. <laughs> and uh, and walk out to to Sterling. Okay. Because I could, I'm assuming he did he walk. So did he so go yeah. By? So as you kind of step out from the shadows, he's standing right there. Okay. To your left. So I'll say I'll say Sterling, Sterling, do not hit me, please. I will destroy the pie. It was stupid. I ran away. I'm so sorry. I will destroy the pie. You can see I have not taken a bite. I have not cut it. I will destroy the pie. Just please do not. Hit me or kill me or run towards me or use uh, crazy spells or anything that you do, please just let me destroy the pie. I just need some time to destroy the pie. And I can respond to that? Yeah. Then do it! Okay, just relax! <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I. You hear all this from around the corner, Esmeralda. It's not your turn yet, but. I take the pie yeah. and uh, and uh, and I put it on the ground yeah. in front of me. Yeah. And I uh, I close my eyes. Yeah. And I'm just going to take want my right foot. Yeah. I'm gonna smash it on the pie. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> and I'll smudge it like ah yeah. ah you stupid pie <laughs> <laughs> why do you do this to me you stupid pie. <laughs> And I start crying. Roan, oh, you uh, So Roan's going to be in quite a jovial mood. He's going to start... <laughs> he's going to pick up the necklace. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and sort of take a little gander. He's going to hang the necklace around his neck. Yeah. For safekeeping until we can sort this all out. And then he's going to walk over to Danica. Around, please. Okay. <laughs> And sit at the uh, sit at the table. At this point, start. Danica comes out, and there's stuff all over the table. <laughs> People are left. There's shouts outside. She's like, "What is going I was on?" Like 47 <laughs> pounds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the little man lost his mind. It was long time in coming. Uh, around, please, Danica. Very well. Uh, and she comes, turns back around. She says, "Honey," as she starts to kind of walk back into the kitchen. <laughs> all right. Okay, uh, Rome, that's you. Uh, Dimitri, you're up. Mm -hmm. Esmeralda, you're on deck. Okay, I. Uh, well, do I get a turn? Oh, you're after. F sorry, you're after Falfer. Oh, I'm that's sorry. okay. That's Go no ahead. problem, mate. <laughs> oh, you were scared. Because uh, it should sorry. all happen simultaneously, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I yep. would have just run yep. out at the same. Okay. Not nothing interesting. I just would be outside with. Okay, them so you're standing. You're standing with Esmeralda at this point. You hear the the shout happen, kind of as you come out the door. Yeah. Um, what do you do? You have an action still. Oh yeah. Well, it doesn't make sense because I would have like tried to track him and all this. So. Well, so but you hear the, the shouts. So you could just move towards Sterling shouting. Yeah, I would move and as, him crying. as close to that as possible. Okay, so you get there. Okay. With the thirty feet of movement. Uh, do you have thirty feet? Yeah, you do because you're human. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm I'm kind of shocked that he chose to stomp on it. Yeah, as you come around the corner, he's <laughs> stomping on the pie. I feel like you should have buried it, or you know, not just stomped on the bodies of the children. <laughs> Dimitri, you're up. Okay. Esmeralda, you're on deck. At this point, can we can we come out of yes. initiative? Yeah. I think yes. we're okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. I'll I'll uh, I'll pull my sword out and I'll run out and I'll say, Foul forever, and I'll I'll point right at you. Oh yeah, the pie, stupid pie! <laughs> <laughs> right before casting Hunter's Mark, oh. I'll oh. realize. And I'll sort of take pity. I'll put my sword yeah, nice. away, and I'll say, "Now I see." 
Were you just going outside so you wouldn't make a mess indoors? <laughs> <laughs> you read my heart, my friend. Stupid <laughs> pie. <laughs> okay, but like it's all over the bottom of your foot now. Yeah, can you stop stamping on it, Mimi, and we'll just like clean it no, up? No, no, yeah. no. What? It's a good gesture. Well, yeah, it's a good gesture. How? But, but like we can't just leave pieces of children all over. It's it's on the bottom of his shoe. And it's on well, his shoes. It it goes towards his resolve. I admire it. Oh, yeah, yeah no you. question, no question. But like we again, should. I would like to point out that there is dead children on the bottom of his shoe. Yeah, it's all over. On the I back. know it's there. Just do not, just she, leave me alone. She makes a very good point. Okay. We should, we should clean this. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna walk yes. over and I'm gonna start trying to take off his boot forcefully. Take off his boot and picking up like the leftover pie. Yeah. Don't let him do it. Like just kind of yeah. scrape I it will off. Forcefully maybe. do it. Just no, I don't let him do it. Okay. Leave me alone. What are you doing, uh, 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 crazy uh, being? It's done, Falfo. It's uh, done. Uh, just uh, let it just grab it and like just rustle uh, it off fine. until he lands yeah. on his back. And yeah, then I'm going to take the pie. Dead, and dead I'm gonna kids it on off. your shoe. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna carry it over near a tree. Yeah, and I want to start digging a little hole beside a tree. Yeah, and and I'm gonna put the pie and his boot. Yeah, into the hole, and I'm gonna take the, the lockets of you know, hair. Just cast breasted digitation or something. No, I haven't got that. And I'm gonna take the locks of hair you that I took, know. and I'm gonna lie them in the hole with the pie in okay. his dirty boot. And cover it back up and say, I'm so sorry that we couldn't get to you sooner, kids. <laughs> and I'm going to ask the tree, like, tree, could you take these guys and, like, make them something good when they come back? Like, not a, like a predator, maybe, not like a rabbit. I'll say, uh, Falfo, Falfo, come for this, come. I and cannot, but I, uh, I have no uh, boot. Uh, I'm just, I I got just you. burying I got it, right. burying okay. it all up yeah. and asking nature to kind of absorb them back into Okay. Take a knee with me, Falco. Good. I'm going to his purse to get a coin for the money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for the You're paying for the milk. Okay. So I do take a knee with Dimitri. Hmm. You okay. see, good has been done here. I, of course, yes. It was the right thing. Hmm. It was the right thing to do, yes. I, now, I think this might be the last pie that's ever going to see the light of day. Uh, that is both a great thought and uh, terrifying at the same time. We should maybe put the plaque on the tree or something. Yeah. Here lies the last pie. I, I don't know. I don't Small think we should say where the last pie is. Somebody might dig it up. Can we not just... <laughs> okay, I need to go find another boot somewhere. Can <laughs> someone <laughs> help me find another boot? We'll see if one of the children has He doesn't extra. give your, your boot back? No, no I buried he buried it, it under I the buried tree. It. Oh, With everything. Dear. <laughs> because that's what you get. Wow. There's no I way we're going to like, scares oh. the children. I only That's what happens, them. man. That's what happens. <laughs> and now soft foot comes to pass. That is where we're going to take a break. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> the softening of the foot. Oh, no, I need we my were. shoes. My boots, my feet are soft. We Why do you were. think my name is called soft foot? We will do the draw now. If you want to do the draw there, uh, Julian. Is that your name? Yeah. That'd be great. Alpha soft foot. <laughs> Yes, they is that, is that like a condition? <laughs> you have a condition? Yeah. It's like trench foot. But <laughs> it's softer. She's got Messy. very, family, very delicate family. halfling feet. I have little delicate halfling feet. Ricky Blom. <laughs> Are they even going to have halfling boots here? Like, no. Boots. Kids, kids boots. boots. Kids boots. Yeah, they're going to be pretty colorful and have Velcro, but that's okay. <laughs> Velcro. <laughs> Shiny lights every time you step, they blink. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> Crazy cool. I'm sorry it happened this way. <laughs> uh, Julian, do we have a winner for Hero Forge? Uh, are we getting a bio break and stuff? Yeah, go ahead. We're done. Yeah, we're it's break yeah, time. We're done. Break time. Going bio, my friend. Ricky Blom. Ricky Blom. Yeah, Ricky. You are Rick Blom. Rick, Rick. Blom. Yeah, Rick. Rick Blom. Whatever. Rick Blom. Uh, you have won a fifty dollar gift card from Hero Forge. Ooh. We will send you out a, a number that you will use to um, to use that. Would be awesome. <laughs> um, I so don't know what just happened. My brain's broken a little bit. Go I need to go. Heroforge.com to use the. I need to go. 
you know, yeah. But when when you get it, you go to HeroForge.com to use the voucher. Incredible mini creation tools online. Um, we've created have created all of our player characters and I am painting them as we speak. They're great. Um, go Lord. stream. Go stream. Go stream. I'm going to go onto the Discord and see if there's any questions. Yes, all you right. Take my spot. Okay. Um, I will wait till you pass. Yes, yes. And then I will pass along move my over. Part. Okay. <laughs> like, I can hear everyone <laughs> going like, what just happened? What? Why? Uh, because addictions are real, folks, and they're not easy to get over, okay? That's why. It's serious stuff. Uh, serious stuff. Serious. Don't um, do drugs. Stay in school. Stay in school. And don't. wear a mask. And wear a mask. <laughs> um, let me see if I can get onto Discord here. Um, that was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> did you think it was gonna? No. That was gonna happen? No, I didn't. Wow. Okay. So. Um. Wow. So, uh, Sazori of the Red Sand. This is for the player's table, oh, which is weird. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna assume the questions are inside of questions for players on Discord. By the way, Shad, if you're the one doing it, or anyone else. Okay. So, uh, Sazori of the Red Sand asks, question, what was the name of the spell that Joel used to, the running spell? Like, it's called Zephyr Strike, and it basically is a, just like a high speed, uh, it adds 30 feet of motion, but it also, you use it on your first attack to, um, to do an extra 1d8 of damage. So, it's pretty cool. You can move into a specific position. Uh, it, it prevents opportunity attacks for anyone who's nearby, which is really cool, which obviously was beneficial. And because uh, <laughs> I think, because I think uh, Sterling was about to damage me in a real way. Um, <laughs> I was like, hand on shoulders. Yeah, exactly. I could squeeze his head right now. <laughs> um, thank you for not doing that. Uh, question: Do David and Jason speak Portuguese, and if so, do they talk in Portuguese to make the others crazy? Good question. Um, good question. I think Jason grew up in a Portuguese family, and they spoke Portuguese at home. Mm -hmm. He speaks some Portuguese. I'm pretty sure he. I think he's fluent. Fluent? I think so. Well, we'll have to ask him. I, I've I've heard him speak it, and it's like. David, I don't know. He, um, I think he knows Brazilian Portuguese. Yes. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, um, but I don't know if it's still if it's fluent. You know Brazilian yeah. Most Brazilians know Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I just assume that that's true. Yeah, just go yeah. Out of the world. Okay, we'll say yep. yes. We'll say yes. Herviticus asks, "Are those marshmallows on the rooftops?" No, they aren't. Mm. Um, they are. Although when it They're, does, it's a little they bit. do look appetizing. Yeah, um, it's, it's kind of like ice and snow. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, that is yeah. on the roof. Also kind of works like a mustache and fangs, as you can see, though. We may um, progress to this location at some point during this session. Maybe. <laughs> maybe we will. It might happen. Um, <laughs> Kent Matari asks, what became of Sterling's protests? Ari agreeing to find Irina for Strahd. Oh, this was from, sorry, this was from the player's table uh, last week. But, uh, but yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah. We, um, you protested... And we just, did we ignore? Pretty, pretty much just like, uh, you don't know what you're uh. <laughs> um, But yeah, Sterling still wants to protect Irina. And right. he's not going to argue as long as we're not going to find her. So right. uh, if, if we do end up going to find her, mm -hmm. he's going to try and do it in a way that's going to protect her. So like, what he suggested before was we find the bones of St. Andal right. and bring them to her, yeah. you know, um, so that she can have them on her person and be protected. Yes, right? uh, totally. So I don't know if that's even possible, but that's something that Sterling thinks is a potentially good idea. Worth testing. Yeah, if we yeah. can track them down, they've yeah. probably been destroyed by vampires or werewolves or creepy ghost kids or, or a combination of the two vampire wolves vampire Children. wolves lycanthropes of some kind yes um white wolf chic asks to fall for huh is it comforting knowing that your friends want you to stop with the pies 
or do you see them as an enemy keeping it away from you? Good question. Good, super good question. So, um, yeah, I mean, the conflict with, I think, with any... This is a psychological issue, I think, is this internal conflict of knowing that addictions are a form of escape. Uh... I mean, that's a very generalized way of talking about addictions, by the way. Yeah. But let's just call, for the sake of the story, this addiction a way for Falfer to escape from whatever situation he's in. Um, and if that's the case, then people are attempting to take away his opportunity to escape from a, dan- from a danger-laden world. Um, so the internal conflict is, do I let these people steal my only line of defense away from me? Or do I fight against what I know is wrong, which is obviously killing children to make pies. I think the intent there is that, is that that's not a good thing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna assume that that's the case. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, so it's that battle between understanding uh, how to escape from the troubles of the world around you. One, I think, is the escape of a hero, which always fights through the darkest battles. And then there's the escape of the of the anti-hero, which is to just accept all of the negativity and evil and kind of <laughs> succumb to it. Which is effectively what Roan is telling Sterling to do and doing himself. <clears throat> Is my, um, is my mic working now? Your mic is working. Mm-hmm. Was it not working? Well, just now when I went to... Yeah, there was some static. Okay. It's good now. It's cool. good now? Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Um, bury it down, boy. Mm. So, uh, Puppet606 question. May, uh, maybe I missed it, but when are the dice spinners going out? The 30th and 31st of July, they are leaving the warehouse. So, yay! That's in a few days, finally! Finally, uh, we are we are six what? weeks late. By the way, so if you were you've been waiting, we said that they would ship in the last two weeks of June. So we're not quite six weeks late, but we're kind of that span of time, six weeks, four six weeks, something like that. So we apologize for the tardiness. There were issues with the boxes to send them in. <laughs> they wanted to send them in poly bags, and that would just probably damage them on on shipping. So we didn't want them to be damaged. We asked all the backers. What should we do? Should we keep the poly bags and send them, or have boxes delivered and then send them in the boxes? Everyone chose the boxes, so we had to delay. But uh, they're coming out July 30th and 31st. They will be shipping from the warehouse. Yay! Um, okay. Uh, Adabel Rosette. I hope, hopefully I said that right. How shocked were you all to discover the pies were made with children? <laughs> Well, I think the ingredients are pretty broad. They're probably there's probably some dough there. I pictured uh, peas and carrots, rosemary, some peas and carrots, some spices of some kind, Sage. and then also um, children. Yeah. You know, some paprika, some exactly some oh, paprika. You, know. you said pieces of sages. Pieces, <laughs> pieces. No, just uh, sage of spice. Oh, sage. sage oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Potentially not. And somebody Although named maybe rosemary. Maybe it can go either way. Who knows? Uh, potentially some rosemary. <laughs> potentially someone called rosemary. Good point, Brandon. I, yeah. Um, <laughs> Right. So, I think we were all... Someone named Rose, someone named um, Mary. Sorry? Oh, yeah, we haven't done that tonight. Yeah, we, I, I was, was going to say that just now. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to have a, a special guest come and talk to us about children. Not the ones you eat, the ones you help. Yes. You're not supposed to eat any of them. <laughs> um, yeah, you're not not supposed to. Not uh, supposed to. Hey, um, so yes, Brandon will be. I mean, Gregory will be here momentarily. Yeah. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Um, this line is very tight. Mm-hmm. My mic is trying to escape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, there's dragons on the floor. There's dragons. Dragons! Dragons! Where's the mic? Wait, you're right here. Oh, here it is. Okay. And <laughs> where's my the hat? hat? Where's the hat? Uh, Le chapeau. Oh, this be Bald Gregory. Okay. Oh. Uh, this is Bald Gory. Bald Gory. Hello, I'm a Gregory, and today I'm going to talk to you once again about extra life because we like the keys. 
We love to help the kids because if we do not help the kids, then the future is lost. Oh. Think about oh. it. Oh, of course. Eh? Yes. Gregory, are you saying we should not eat children? Exactly! Okay! In fact, I'm saying if you do eat children, you should stop. Who <laughs> should we eat, Gregory? Who? You should eat, um, <laughs> bad people. Oh. But it sounds like a message towards cannibalism. Exactly! Okay. But not also, because in some places that is quite illegal. Right. However, in Barovia, it is a common pastime and a delicacy to eat evil people. And there's a lot around. So, you have your pick. <laughs> so. <Wolf stocks. laughs> What's about this extra life thing? Extra life? <laughs> Sorry, I'm It's an organization <laughs> that helps Children's Miracle Network hospitals like the one in Toronto, the Children's Hospital, the Sick Toronto Kids. Sick Kids Hospital, and all every single gold or dollar that you donate to Extra Life through twitch.tv forward slash realmsmith uh, we'll go towards helping the kids in these places. So please do consider helping the kids. Now, as you can see, down at the bottom, uh, we have already raised uh, so much money, please wait, that it is helping the party as well. And uh, the Necklace of Fireballs they now have. And the next thing at the 2,500 gold piece mark would be the Scroll of Resurrection which we now have a member of the party that could possibly even cast it, should anyone wish to survive after such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, it's Barovia. Why would you want to come back? <laughs> I left. I have been Tahiti this whole time. So, <laughs> I tell you, my friends, the most important thing you can do with your life is to help the kids. Because also you help at the party, but most importantly, you help at the kids. Save the kids, that's some, okay? That's some good chaz, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing! Hey, for now, for the kids! Yes, yeah, for the kids! Body, Jason has returned! <laughs> I agree! I agree with you! What's <laughs> up? There are dragons on the floor! I know they hurt, it's like oh, stepping yeah. on Lego. <laughs> Careful! Um, can we get an update on the uh, extra life bar there? Whoa! Wow! We are wow. quickly approaching, folks. We have busted through the necklace of fireballs. It's so close. Oh, hey, Dave. Oh, so close. We're this close. <laughs> we're, we're, so we're, we're about that much. These close. We're, 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 These we're close. Away. Uh, anyways, uh, but yeah, uh, donate to Extra Life. It is on our page. Is it back on our YouTube page? It is. Okay. So you can go to the widget below the video on the Realmsmith Twitch channel um, and uh, do that. If you liked what you've seen so far, also consider following us on Twitch so we can let you know when we go live and consider subscribing and then you get access to all our fun Discord RP uh, opportunities. Yay! Which are so fun. Oh my goodness. Well, there goes a couple hours. Yep. Right. For the sake of brevity. Mm. <laughs> That's what we're doing tonight. Brevity. Pack up all this Falfer stuff. Um, you do notice that the necklace is missing when you come back in, uh -huh. but everything else is there. Okay. Um, and you look over and he's gladly wearing it around his neck. <laughs> and and Callie, ha drinking. Callie has her dagger back. Callie has her dagger back. Okay. And she's giving you drunk side eye. Okay. Um, Cider or side eye? Side eye. <laughs> giving, I like side eye. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, you, what do you guys want to do next? You get all your stuff together. You pay for your meals. You don't pay for your meals because they've given you free. They've given you free meals because of the wonderful thing that you did for them. Mm. What do you do, Keller? Yeah. How much? How much faith do you put in the voice from your dreams? Uh, which <laughs> one? <laughs> it's. What is the one that you told us about? Well, there isn't really a voice. It's like pictures. It's, mm, mm. right. Well, it's but, a, yeah, it's, he's never been wrong before. So why should he be now? Hmm. Anybody ever told you you're kind of cute? Uh, no. All right. I <clears throat> see it. <laughs> Thank you. He's got the nice you are voice. A handsome man. <clears throat> All right, so we going or not? You still know Strad. <laughs> He'd make a good lover. <laughs> For like a lady. Wow. Uh, we Danica, will talk about cut, that. Let's cut this off, Danica. <laughs> 
All right, so you guys pack your things. Where do you guys want to go next? What is the plan? Shall we said. head on the on the road west? Yeah. Let us do it. I mean, I'll do whatever you guys want. And what are we doing with the kids? We're bringing them with us. Oh, this again? Mm, yeah, All we right. could either leave them here with Danica for the time being, or maybe we take them with us and leave them at the Abbey. We'd have we'd hate to have a resurgence of pie manufacturing. Can't leave any kids behind. Well, they are safe in town. I will say that. I don't know what we'll encounter on here. the way there. And zombies. I want to see Irina. That's who I want to be with. Yeah, you can. You guys, you can come with us. Okay. Listen, we all want to find that arena, so may, I don't know, so they come with us? Do you know where she is? We oh. don't. We don't. I mean, we're looking for her. So everyone, just so we're all on the same page, everyone objectively thinks it's a good idea to bring these kids with us now. Oh yeah. Well, it's an Abbey. Yes, the Abbey will be able to watch them long term. If we leave them here, we'll have to still find another place for them to live. Right. That's true. And an orphanage is a no place for children. I'll tell you that much right uh, here. That's, they seem like the perfect place for children. Nah, not the ones in Barovia. <laughs> oh, uh. well, an abbey will be better than an orphanage. I think, I think we should take them. Am I still under this hag thing? Yep. Damn yeah, it. You okay. haven't. You haven't we only out. just had breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> It's been a long morning. I tried to. All right, <laughs> so you guys are heading west towards Kresk. Yes. Is that right? Ooh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can we find a wagon or anything? Uh, why don't we pick up my wagon and maybe we put the kids safely inside there? Oh, you have a wagon? Your wagon I is quite a ways a away, Esmeralda. Oh, never mind then. Forget I ever said that. That is a bad idea. Okay. You have been traveling on foot since. I have been traveling on foot. Hmm. Maybe we'll uh, find that wagon. You came from Europe. Someday. You uh, know, if, if we had planned ahead, but I guess it's not the best idea right now. It's all right. A lot of this is being done on the fly. <laughs> Seems to be. <laughs> Would it be a bad idea to allow the children to sit on my shoulders as we mm, walk? That's a great idea. What do you say, freak, Myrtle? Yeah, you've got a longer stride than those little legs, so I think maybe if they're okay with it. It could speed us up a little bit, yes. Here, let me. I'll pick Myrtle up. Yeah. And she I'll, smiles. I'll put her on one of Sarah's shoulders. The furthest away from him, the better. I'll grab Freak at the same time. <laughs> Well, maybe maybe we could like name you something else other than a freak. Like I don't know. If that's I like cool. freak. Okay. <coughs> now get your freak on. <laughs> all right. You guys have all your things and you um, depart Valake and head into the wilds of Barovia. And by that I mean this Valak road that is nicely carved through the trees. Um, it is a particularly uh, foggy morning. Um, you know, uh, from what you kind of have gathered, uh, getting your things together, speaking to a couple people, that it is going to take about an hour and a half, um, you imagine, to uh, get to, um, sorry, yeah, four miles an hour. So, uh, oh, wait a second. Yeah. Uh, just, oh, hmm, one minute, please. Stand by. You travel 13 days with two children. <laughs> uh, You've brought no food. Two hours. So just shy of two hours it'll take you guys They to constantly to have to rest. stop to pee. <laughs> um, and you there start it. on your road west. Uh, I think we'd like to be vigilant as we go. I'd like to be vigilant. Vigilant in what way? I don't want to be murdered from the woods. Okay, so uh, can I get a um, marching order for you guys, please? Because you can just kind of put your, your, your minis in a line there, just so I can know on the on the black uh, area there. I'll, so, I'll okay. put Since I front. sort of know, <laughs> and the one that knows the way, I'll, I'll kind of be in front. Okay. I will uh, place myself oh, to this uh, way? Dimitri's way? leg. This way? Uh, I'll put myself right up close to Esmeralda. I'd like to be up near the front with Esmeralda as well. I mean, I don't Um, know where. Since I've got the kids, I want to try and hang around the middle. So it's kind of like a. Oh, yeah, kids. All fighting for the front. Herd herd protection. (laughs) Here are the kids. I'll protect the kids like elephants do, just stick around the middle. Who's in the back there? Who's that? That's Callie. Hey, listen, I will turn around. 
Put yourself in the right place. <laughs> Don't make me turn this floor forge to the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so we are basically like walking six wide. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's in the lead. <laughs> That's how you guys are walking. Um, uh, looks like a big. So oh, you aim the fireball here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna. <laughs> Thank you for note. Uh, I'll note that. Yep. Appreciate We're just that. a big fat cluster. You're welcome. Uh, by the way. Yeah, you're welcome. You can't call us that. Call All right. Thing I okay. want. Okay, you guys make your way into through the, and the, the Svalik Road, which leads west um, the entire way. Um, the road is f- hugs quite closely. Sorry, the, the trees choke the road quite closely um, on your way west. Um, as you progress west from Velaki, you cross a bridge um, and you come over and dip down. You remember Madame Eva's um, camp was actually up in the North Road. You guys take the South Road along the way. Um, And as you're kind of passing an area of the woods, um, fairly uneventful, but you hear, frack, snack, stupid pizza, and you hear kind of like this jovial music in the background, horses neighing somewhere in the woods. Hmm. Um, And then you hear a twing and like a tip of a sword kind of <laughs> out of the woods and kind of goes across your path and you kind of all take pause uh, and then you hear and you piece of imp and in the velocity of wanting to move forward you continue on down your path hmm. um, but you hear the jovial nature of what sounds like an Esmeralda you probably know is one of the nearby Vistani camps uh, in the woods just to the north of the yeah you there. can't take us anywhere <laughs> Can, can we just mark on the map where this might be for future reference? Sure. Okay. Yep. Nice. Well, you don't have a map, but you can kind of but like take a mental note. Yeah. Sure. Let's, yep. let's just keep going. Um, green. They seem to be having green. a lot of trouble. Let's just keep going. They're chucking swords at people. No. So let's protect the kids and That's keep going. That's fine. It's not safe for children. Uh, for the course, for the Vistani, it seems. Uh, I've just been uh, reminded to speak to the giveaway. Uh, oh. Second giveaway is Mithril Armory. Yes. Tin 20s, um, which are awesome. They're current Kickstarter at mithrilarmory.com. Yep. Yeah. And uh, you just write Mithril, M Y T H R O L L, into the chat, and you will be entered uh, to win one of these. And they're, a, they're like a wallet size. They're like a wallet size Ooh. card, Ooh. and then you fold, uh, fold it up. Like, emergency D20. Oh my oh my Why I don't have one of these? Yeah, take you in. I'll give you one. Well, you, give give me one. you give me one. The road three. bends south. <laughs> um, you come to a crossroads. Uh, the road continues straight on the Svalik Road and What's veers to the left. This is Svalik. Svalik. I know. Oh, I, I was oh, oh first time. Svalik. Gotcha. Svalik. The Svalik Road. And then it heads north again, then west again. There is another. Road that goes south that is marked Solenka Pass. Solenka Pass. Yeah, Solenka Pass. <laughs> like a you know. Yeah. Like a. Like so, an octopus, but a like Solenka a Solenka Pass. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what's happening right what? now. I think we just invented a new D and D enemy. <laughs> we did. Oh, we did. Solenka Pass. <laughs> I'll get started on a stat block. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys hear another kind of. Um, Bunch of jovial laughter in your travels as well, coming from another potentially Vistani camp nearby. Mm. Um, you cross another road, and you can tell that things are starting to cool down quite a bit. Um, the river you can see as you cross this bridge uh, opens up into a lake to the right, um, larger lake, and you haven't been this far west. And even over the trees, you can start to see the wisps of the mist hmm. that creates a border around Barovia. Um, wispy mist. Wispy mist. Wispy mist. All of it. The road branches north and climbs a rocky escarpment ending at a gatehouse. Hmm. Built into a 20 foot high wall of stone reinforced with buttresses every 50 feet or so. The wall encloses what you can see is a small settlement, 
on the side of a snow-dusted mountain spur. Beyond the wall, you see the tops of snow-covered pines and thin white wisps of smoke. The so somber to a toll of a bell comes from a stone abbey that clings to the mountainside high above the settlement. The steady chime is inviting, a welcome change from the deathly silence and oppressive fog to which you have grown accustomed. It's hard to tell at this distance. That's not where we are. I know. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to tell at this distance, but there seems to be a switchback road clinging to the cliffs that lead up from the walled settlement to the abbey. Um, and what you see before you appears to be Kresk. Oh my god. And it looks like that. Mm. Cool. As you approach. Ooh. It's snowy. Animated. What do you do at this stage? Kresk is in the distance. You see, again, the mountains, switchback road that leads up to what you imagine is the abbey above. So there's two parting pathways then. One of it is Kresk and another way is the abbey? No, so the settlement's here. Kresk is in the distance behind uh, the set. Uh, sorry, the abbey is behind the settlement up on the mountain. You can see it. So you can see it in there. Do you want to bring abbey? it up uh, full screen again for a sec? So we have to go through the settlement to get there. So this yeah, is see, the that's the abbey. Oh, okay. And this is the settlement. The settlement. settlement. Yeah. And then the abbey is. No, the abbey's up on the mountain. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. It's right up there. Yeah. You good, Ben? So that's the abbey road? <laughs> Yeah, that's Abbey Road right there. That's Abbey Road. <laughs> that is Abbey Road. You good? Right. Uh, I what think do you do? Four of us are just. I'll just turn yeah. to Callie. Why Callie. am I barefoot? Sorry. <laughs> Wait a second. Are you barefoot? We got one. No, I, I got a boot from a. Kid. No. No, you did not. You robbed my you ever said? <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> you guys left me barefoot. Just we left you. the town. Just you left you barefoot. For the sake of brevity, you just. <laughs> 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 It was for the sake of brevity that we got here. My assumption with brevity is that we take care of the problems at hand, if, and then we move forward. If you want to have picked up a boot, I would allow you to go to the merchant shop. Okay. And the boot was, uh, I'd say... But then I gotta sell him one boot. He's probably gotta buy a pair. Yeah, you gotta buy a pair of boots. Sure. Um, I will tell you how much it costs man. later. Okay. It's not going to be cheap, but you need boots. A boot how much? And it's a Canadian what do you guys do? Too. Uh, I'll turn to Callie and I'll say, Callie, does this look familiar at all? That building on the mountain, that's it. Mm. And over the last couple hours, she's sobered up. <laughs> <laughs> Surprising. How many pee breaks? Have, no, never no mind, living never her mind. Best life. Yeah. No. That's it, that's where he's been calling me to. Sure, he's got some great adventure to me for me to be on. And that's where we'll go. I'm with Dimitri, so I'll say, uh, are you sure this is the place? Well, yes, it, that's the place for my dream. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Better Perhaps make haste. I don't see where else we. Yeah. How yes. how cold is it? It's cold, uh, as cold as that picture looks. So you're starting oh. to get chilly. Uh, the, the, it's starting to kind of get into your bones. Um, you're not really dressed for cold weather at this point. You just have regular clothing on. Well, I got a lot of fur. Um, yeah. Yeah. Could I feel just kind of comfortable? But you wouldn't have you wouldn't have winters like you wouldn't. There's specifically like okay. winters, but it's not it's quite nice cold enough for furs. that. Yeah. This is like and light light winter, kind of. Okay. Yeah. Above and I'll, t I'll tell you right now, I'm not the most pleasant person to be around when I have cold rage. I really should cold have bundled rage? up a little more. Did yeah, it's kind of like cold rage. road rage, but like when it's cold and you get angry. Oh, hmm. I so love like the cold. Cold rage. That sounds so. Yeah. Okay. It's a watch thing. Out for the cold rage. Yeah, well, maybe we yeah. should. I'm just warning you right now. Like we should probably head Is out. Is that like being hangry? Sort of, yeah. Okay. Can we move on, please? There's this area That's in Cali, Eberron that's called Frostfell. It's really cool. That guy really want to go there, actually. That's how the uh, DM puts, <laughs> puts his will out there. Yeah. <laughs> Through NPCs. Yes. Huh. Age old trick. Let okay. us go. Yes. Maybe we can find some some warmth in this nearby place. These boots are okay. so comfortable. Though. By all means, perhaps you could find problem. someone else that hears voices. The air grows colder as you approach this walled settlement. Two square towers with peaked roofs flank a stone archway into which is set a pair of 12-foot iron-bound wooden doors. Carved into the arch above the door is a name, Kresk. K-R-E-Z-K. -E or Z for those Americans. There are two Americans. witches above the doors? 
What? No, into which is set. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the walls that extend from the gatehouse are 20 feet high. Atop the parapet, you see four figures wearing fur hats and clutching spears. And they tend, they appear to be watching you nervously. Hmm. What do you do? Well, hey there. Hey there. What are you doing? Well, I've seen any of them. Who goes there? Well, it's just us. We, uh, what? Who's us? We are, we are wanderers. Well, we're, it's uh, from Rome. out east. And Dimitri and I'm Muskoka. Uh, you're giving. Just. No, no, just, well, just wait. Just well, friendly, friendly travelers. Yes. They we're just friendly travelers, and uh, we wanted to come in. We're cold. What is your business in Kresk? Hmm. We are. Uh, we, well, we, 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 we wish to worship at. Uh, Worship at the uh, at, at the Abbey. Mar- oh, at the, yes. at the Markovia Abbey. Yes, we would like to speak to someone from there too. From the Abbey. Oh. Well, but mostly you know, worship, I guess, from what Esmeralda is. Worship doing. the Great Sun Lord! Yay! Oh, well, That's morning. what we are doing. The mor- morning Lord. Yes, the Morning Lord. Oh, yeah, we're on like a, one of those eat, pray, oh, love. But this is the pray part, like vacations. <laughs> yes, a pilgrimage. We are here on a pilgrimage. Right. Well, you can go ahead and pass around but to go to the Abbey. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's right, because the Abbey's up on the hill. We went over this a little bit. It's a river around. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Well, <laughs> oh, we don't. Is it how far of a walk is it from here to the Abbey? How far of a walk is it from here to the Abbey? I will tell you. Do they understand what he's saying? Yes, they do. Do you? <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, one yeah. second. <laughs> it looked like your head's going to explode. Uh, 100, 200. <laughs> among other so it's about, rage radiating. It's, abo- it's about 400 feet. What? Um, <laughs> this is the length of a football field away. But, okay. but from, from, from what you can see, actually, getting to the Abbey from... Around the walls actually go to the base of the mountain. The mountain goes up to the abbey, so you'd have to like climb sheer mountain Whoa, faces like, and cliff faces, almost 400 feet, well, to get way. to this okay, to the so, abbey. So we see this clearly, though. And the switchback road is within the settlement. Okay. Yeah, you see it clearly. Okay. So I'll I'll go to the guy and try to persuade him. Go up. Certainly, the road from within the town is easier than climbing the mountain on the outside of the town. Could we not just pass through? Also, we were maybe hoping to get, you know, something warm to eat before our, you know, very cold passage up this mountain. Yes, and maybe some clothing. We do not let outsiders usually in the town. Well, so it's good for your for economy. Sometimes, sometimes you do. Good it's good for your economy. Is that even common? Things. What are you saying? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm from Eberron, eh? <laughs> when, uh, when the DM upholds justice for you, <laughs> <laughs> you have been avenged. That's okay, I dumped all your stuff on the table. So it's okay. <laughs> Listen, as, as travelers, we do have a lot of coin to spend, so oh, it, I'm sure it would be radio. very good for your for your settlement if we, <laughs> you know, uh, visit your fine establishments. A booming economy is good for all indeed. That's right. So you're what saying you you're not going to leave? Oh well, uh, no, we are. We just uh, just a day trip, just but we will spend a lot of money here. Please hold. <laughs> <laughs> How high are the walls? Uh, <laughs> the walls are. Um, I what the did walls. I say? Twenty. Uh, nice. Twenty feet. You did say that. Uh, well, I could just create a little ice. No, no, no. We just the guys can open the door for us. Yeah. So a that. little time passes. Um, you imagine like the equivalent of like 10, 15, 20 I'm minutes. Li- I'm like, you guys are getting cold. You're standing outside. Sterling, do you have a heat machine inside of you or something? Do you get warm or something? <laughs> do you something? guys know how to make a fire? Uh, yeah, like if you're awake for a long time, do you get warm? Do I see any like shrubbery around us or anything? <laughs> like, uh, just like, not a lot. But like basically like dead twigs and, and branches and things like that. So if I see not a lot like, of green up here. Okay. Other than other than um, evergreens, which right. are which dot the entirety of the, the light one area. Yeah. But it's pretty bare. It's pretty it's pretty barren up here. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. We've been on hold for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Please approach. Okay. The Burgomaster would like to speak to you. Oh, oh I love the Burgomaster. The Burgomaster. Uh, <laughs> we are pretty hungry. You're looking for the Burger King. <laughs> this is the Burger Master. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Yeah, well there you played. Go. Wow. All right. Good job. <laughs> you guys approach the wall. Yes. Mm-hmm. And at the top of the wall, there is a, a bit of a portly, kind of uh, really dark skinned gentleman. Um, white kind of hair, that uh, balding on top. And dressed quite finely, quite noble. Mm. And he kind of approaches and he looks over, he says, What business do you have in Kresk? Well, so we want to buy some clothes. I'm just looking around uh, the party to confirm. Buy some clothes and take yep. the road up the mountain. There yes, are no we're shops. On, we're, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, we are on one of those uh, eat, pray, love tours, and we're on the pray <laughs> part. So we are going to go to the abbey. Uh, and also, you know, we 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 would love to uh, help uh, your economy by shopping local uh, at your local store. So we would also do that on the way out. Okay. So for eat, there is no restaurants, inns, or taverns in Kresk. What do you? Uh, we do not allow outsiders. Uh, when it comes to pray, you can do that at the Abbey if you want. But you got to climb the mountain and love. This is a commune. You're not getting any of that here. That's funny. Uh, so where do you guys there, eat? We could we could just be on the prey part uh, as long as we can go through. Uh, what is your the, business with the Abbey? Uh, like I said, we are on the the prey part of our of our tour here. You want so. to pray to the Morning Lord? Yes, oh, all yeah. praise. Yeah, no, but we need to be doing so Lord. in proximity to him. So if we could be in the Abbey, that would be the best place for us. Yes, Perhaps we've heard could. very great reviews. Uh, we got these little brochures, and we've heard that this would be a great place uh, within the Abbey if we can go inside. She's totally but, telling the truth. Okay. Perhaps you could provide an escort through your space uh, just for your own peace of mind. We just need to get to the road to go up to the Abbey. You do look very cold. Oh, yeah. yeah very oh, cold. Yes. I'm small. I will well. punch my friend in the face right now, out of cold rage. Oh, no, uh, please. Please. Just, please. please, you she don't have to do that. She does get cold rage. Okay. And I really wouldn't like to do Gender it. Like if I can get a collective per, uh, persuasion check, please, okay. from all of you. I love <laughs> this idea. Yes. Natural 20. <clears throat> Ooh. 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 And you didn't even hey talk. Hey, now. <laughs> this is my look. 17. 21. Wow. 15 for me. Yeah, two. I should. Older than a Sasquatch's uh, undercarriage out here. <laughs> <laughs> what a Sasquatch. Yeah. Mine would be 25 as well. Okay. So, you all look like you can handle yourselves. Thank you. If you do me a favor, you rolled a two. <laughs> that is much needed. Mm-hmm. Favor? Yes. What kind of favor? My wife. She has gone searching for someone to bring her back here. Oh. And she has not come back. Oh, I'm sorry, man, but she's probably gone. Well, now hold on, hold on. <laughs> Can I elbow him? I tend to. Oh, I had a friend, uh, a college star friend, and his wife ran off too. So like, what's wrong with I you? I tend to agree. <laughs> it's like his she's face not coming back. Physically, like drops. I, know. You, I, I he, disagree. You hear her mutter something under his breath. I think maybe she is probably out for a day trip. She's out drinking with her girlfriends. Oh, she will boyfriend. be back this evening. Hmm. No problem. I wouldn't do that. If you would maybe double back and see if you can find her. Do you know who it was she sought? Give me a persuasion check. I swear. I'll let your natural 20 roll for that. Nice. She's looking for somebody named Irina. Oh, great. Mm. Oh, wow. She's supposed oh, to be bringing yes. her back here for safety behind the walls of Kresk. If we were, if we are doing this for you, you will need to give us all of the information that we could use to help find your wife. 
Yeah, like maybe what's her name, what she look like. Her name is Anna. She has beautiful dark, dark chocolate skin. My love, and I miss her very much, and I fear the worst. Aww. But there is much that hang, hangs in the balance if she is not found, and if Irina isn't brought here safely. Okay, but, um, okay, you see these two little children here? Can we leave them in the abbey so that we do not harm them with the cold? Don't ask Yeah, it's almost like someone foresaw that this was a bad trip to take children on. Anyways, well, can we leave them something. here? <laughs> if you find her, I will let you stay <laughs> in my cottage. Oh, you have a cottage. <laughs> For the evening. Oh, one night. Oh. And then you can head to the abbey when you want. But I will allow you to stay a night okay. and get warm. So were you just like All waiting right. till somebody came up to get them to find your lost wife? You couldn't send like your guards? She took you? many of them. Yes. We are many, a small community. How many guards were with her? A half a dozen. Oh, so we can find your tracks. Okay, no problem. When did they go? Days ago. Oh. Two days, to be exact. I have, a, I have an idea. Okay. The rest of us, we will go inside, warm up. Muskoka, you go, track them down, <laughs> find them, <laughs> and then come back here. Okay, yeah, I could do when that. You, when, when you found them, and then everything will be solved. No? Oh, yeah. Well thought out, Falfa. Normally your plans aren't, but this is a good one. Well, I don't mind. Yes, like, we'll I'm, stay, I'd be fine. and you go track yeah. them okay, down. Okay, I don't mind. Does anyone know who this is? Yeah, I've been with you the whole, like, for three days. But, but I'm not sure. I know who that is. No. Uh, you've been with us less than 24 hours. Oh, has it been? Well, it's felt like a couple days. We, um, so how about we leave the kids, we stay for one night in the cottage. Muskoka, you will do this for us? Oh, yeah, Falf, yeah, I would. I don't mind. Okay, good. We will only take the children. Oh, fair enough. Well, maybe you could just tell... Tell him you're a child. No child deserves to be out there in the colds of Barovia. Oh, I agree, mister. You are no child. Oh, okay. Shut up. And I smack him. Okay, well, you can wait here outside and we'll be back. Here, I'll take Freak down first. Mm. And then I'll... I'll go to reach for the girl and, and, and Sterling obviously doesn't let me do it. <laughs> we can't I can't reach, reach shoulder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you'll be safe here and warm. Okay, so oh, okay. do you have any uh, like extra coats or anything? Because it's kind of like you pointed out, kind of nipply out here. You did not come prepared. No. It doesn't give me much hope that you will find Anna. Oh, but here we are. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you better get going so you don't freeze. <laughs> okay. And the kids kind of run up, and you see the doors go <laughs> open a little bit. The kids kind of run running. <laughs> 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 okay, well, uh, I just turn around and start looking for tracks. <laughs> there was like a dozen of them, so Survival there must be check. some sort of indent. Why did they make for days? Uh, it's a, yeah, I would say with disadvantage. Snowfall, yeah. Disadvantage, snowfall, no problem. two days. Actually, mm. snow makes it easier for them. Uh, I rolled uh, Light 12 snowfall both there. times. It's not, it's not. What? I rolled a 12 both times. Okay. Oh, which one do you want to take? I'm going to take the <laughs> second one. Ooh, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, like you that. do sense uh, that you get a, a feeling that a large group has moved through this area in the last couple days. Yeah. And you start to kind of get that trail. Could, could be us. <laughs> Don't Larger than ideas. yours. Okay. Uh, uh, looks like they went this way. I know. Okay. on. Good luck, my friend. Over the last. Uh, so, <laughs> are, you are you all not going? <laughs> are you going to sit outside? The, what, are you going to sit outside the gate? Yeah, set up a fire, maybe do a little tent. Why don't you ride on my shoulder? Kind <laughs> of <laughs> grab okay. your back. <laughs> all right, I'll go. Okay, we'll come. All right. Oh, hey, hey, Falfi. Try licking him. What did you say? Try, try licking the back of him. Sorry. That's I, disgusting. I don't, I don't understand what you're. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? You're what just, are you asking the, oh, him to do? Oh, it'd be, it's so funny. We would get like the kids back home. They would Shall we continue on? They would lick the wharf wedges in the cold. <laughs> Listen, nobody's licking anything or anyone. Can we just please go? <laughs> All right, so you... <laughs> 
for the sake of brevity, <laughs> over the next number of hours, you track this group of um, this expedition who's not being very careful. Um, and you actually, an hour, track it halfway back to Vlaki. Oh. You are an hour into your tracking, and it's it's heading. It looks like it's following the road up to this point. Oh man! You're warmer though. Now you've come out of the area. Oh. You're warmer than you were, but it's still misty. So I'll, uh, I'll lift the damp. Are, uh, are these are these our footprints? No. Okay. So I'm you on continue. The, yeah, I'm on the back of, of Sterling, kind of, and I so I lift my head and I go. I get, I get, uh, <laughs> oh, you did it! I got me to do it, but I, guess, I did it anyway! I, I don't need to hold him anymore. He's, no, he's no. good. <laughs> Why did you do that? Ow! Oh. Okay. He might oh. be easier to understand. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you continue to track. Yeah. You track it all the way back to the, the, the gates of Valaki. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my gosh. And that is where the, cold, the, the trail goes cold hmm. in Valaki. I'd like you to make another survival check if you want to continue to yeah, track this group through the I town. Want to. 18. Okay, uh, with an 18, you pick up that trail again, um, and uh, <laughs> and you are able to actually, through talking to people and through kind of figuring out where, you know that this large group actually went to uh, the church, St. Andrew's Church in Velaki. Oh, man. And you guys are about two and a half hours now into your way back. Oh, you're so, home, I'm so sorry. you're kind of at noon, one o'clock in the afternoon at this point. Oh, so it looks like, uh, <laughs> or sounds like, I guess, that they went back to the church. But we went, we had to go all the way there to find out. At least the kids are safe. Yeah. I um, recall suggesting that we go to the, never mind. You, you <laughs> just gotta be more approachable in the way you suggest things, you know? Then people won't shut you down. Uh, so Muskoka. <laughs> but Lots you got good ideas. Let us go to the church. Okay. Um, you head to the church and you Kill. start to approach it. You haven't been here since <laughs> the encounter that you had with Strahd. Um, and you, as you approach, you see that there is an, uh, a young boy. He's got his arm in a sling um, and bandaged kind of around his head. And he is currently, he's putting boards up on the front door of the church and he's kind of nailing boards across. I'll walk up to him and go, the doorway. What are you doing? Oh, oh, h- hello. Hello, is there, is there no service today? Um, why, did you not hear? Um, the church has been desecrated. It, it is no longer in service. Uh, the father uh, died, uh, and he starts to look around, and he starts to wreck He said, wait a second, you, you were the ones that did it. Were you not here? I, I'm very confused. My friend has dementia. Uh, have you seen a large group of armed individuals, a woman and uh, a group of about six guards approach the church recently? Inside check. Yeah. Is this the boy that sold the bones uh, of St. That's uh, 18. Um, you can see that his, his, his eyes kind of, he's like, no, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, but you can tell he does. Boy. I think that honesty in this case is the best is the best uh, recourse for you. And I'm gonna let my eyes sort of turn dark. Ooh, intimidation and, uh, check, please. Yeah. Don't make him pee his pants. He's just a kid. That would be an 18. <laughs> okay. He backs right up against the door. He says, "Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. You helped, and I'm alive, in part because of your of what you did and what I heard you did here. I." They're here. They're they're in the. They're in the church. They've been held up. They took losses. On their way here. From what? From whom? From Barovia. I don't know. Uh, some of them had bite marks. Uh, Open the door, so lad. You, are you locking them in? Why? Why the boarding? Because yeah. Why are you boarding? Nobody the wants up? to come to the church because it's been desecrated. Okay, so is there another entrance you can let us in to find them? Well, is there a reason that also, you're locking them in there? Desecrated? How exactly? The bones of Saint Andrews went missing. 
Yeah, we were there. Why are you locking people inside the church? Well, we're, I was not locking them in. I'm just closing the church up because we, we can't have services anymore until the bones come back. So we can enter freely with that. Sure, obstacle. you can. Okay. Is this yeah, but the boy that sold the bones? He said that the bones this is, were missing. This is the boy that was left for dead. That you mm-hmm. kind of stepped over, entering, mm-hmm. and was under sort of rubble when you guys entered the church mm-hmm. when oh. you met Strahd. The altar boy. So can we just walk into the church? So you just kind of walk past him, and yeah. and he kind of moves out of the way. Yeah, like he doesn't want any more problems. Thank you for your time, um, and we'll just walk in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, so. but I want to know: the bones are missing, and that's how this place was desecrated. Yes, the the, the bones of Saint Andrew were stolen. Were, were stolen, and they kept the evil out. You were there. Oh yes, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> well, he, he, the, they weren't stolen. They were the reason Strahd got in. You heard was because they were stolen. Right. You weren't there when they were stolen. Mm-hmm. Right. But we were through there. Yeah. We knew because yeah. of all that. Yeah. yeah. Are we still? Charmed? Yeah, I want to enter. Yeah. Okay. So Are you guys still charmed? Are we still charmed? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Seven p.m. Guys, today. don't you think that like maybe something about getting these bones back would be important if we're to be here in this, if we can't worship here because the bones are gone, and then like she had that vision. I of wouldn't the worship sun. here anyways. And I Nobody think that asked we have you, on Moody. Our plate already. <laughs> Moody. <laughs> Moody I, nobody, nobody asked, asked you, Moody. 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 <laughs> um, okay. so we all uh, know you just want to skulk in your dark corner and listen to your emo music, but like, <laughs> let's actually think of a plan here. Like, if we were supposed what to keep all this vision. What is emo music? I don't know. It's emus. just something I heard in cat e- emus, like the animals. Oh. You I play have no it and they get for emu really. Music. Do we know? Um... It's really sad music that they somehow like for some reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Milavosh is really into it, and he he parts his hair right here, and it's black, and it's right against the side of his face. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk in. And he oh, <laughs> at this point. As <laughs> um, Meralda, uh, I think you may have a point there in finding these these bones. Uh, Irina was seeking for asylum in a place where these bones were stored. If we could bring them to her, she might be right. safe having them on her person. Uh, this, okay, so That's sorry, what I'm sorry. saying. So you guys, it's, good. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish like it, it's not a sacred place if the sacred bones aren't here and the people can't worship like they normally do. That means whatever sacredness of this place is not here anymore. Makes you, sense. you think you could find them? As he says that, uh, Muskoka and Roan, you guys kind of push yeah. through and open the door. Yeah. It opens, it's kind of on to a hinge. Um, and it can, you kind of have like force it open a little bit. Mm-hmm. And inside it's quite quiet. Uh, I'd like you to make perception checks, please. Uh, is it dark? Yeah. Uh, what do I see up to 120 feet? Yeah. Well, I got natural one, so like. 18. I just see the back of his stupid head. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you, so Roan, <laughs> you see. Um, that um, there's glass still all on the ground. All of the stained glass, remember, busted in when when yes. Strahd was there. Um, and right through to the back, you see uh, huddled shapes, kind of in the very back, in the little alcove where the rope, where you ring the bell, is at behind the altar, in the back of the. Um, and you distinctly hear the sound of uh, a bow being drawn. Madam. Madam Anna. Give me a persuasion check. Uh, this is so weird. 18. Okay. Um, yes, that is I, and you hear the uh, of the bowstring go back. We come at the request of your husband, the Burgermeister of Kresk. He wishes us to bring you back to him safely. He is looking for us? He is. He's Will you come out of the shadows? Or better yet, I step into them and I start walking towards them. Okay. As you kind of come in, you hear kind of some uh, jumbling sounds and some scattering, um, and she kind of steps up, and she steps forward, and there are two people that kind of, two of her aides kind of step out in front um, and, and, and put their hands on their swords. And you can see these guys are really bandaged up, bloodied, um, and there's two of them left uh, that kind of step in front of her, uh, and she says, "And she says, you are here to take us back. We are. Why? So we can get into the abbey. What's it for you? 
We seek some information from the Abbey. Now will you come with us and allow us to escort you back to the Burgermeister? What? What information would you want from that place? That, I'm afraid you'll have to ask my companions. Uh, there are more of you. There are. Capable. Oh, oh I'm right here. I, yeah, I'm helping out with them. Some more capable than others. That's me. You are about as quiet as a moose. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that's like, that's okay. I wasn't sneaking. Let me see the rest of you. Well, well they're all outside, but uh, you guys are a little hurt here. I can help you guys out. Can you? Oh, yeah. And I'm going to, uh, well, I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to I, I do a, a, a cast prayer of healing. Okay, so you start walking towards them. Give me a persuasion check. Okay, fucking okay, persuasion check, but I'm just going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a four, but I'm... Do I need to touch them? Oh, you, right. you're fat fingers. <laughs> <laughs> You can see within range of thirty feet. I don't even touch them. Ten minutes. Uh, I don't know. Casting right, time I guess what I'm ten saying minutes. Is okay, well I just start praying. Uh, okay. You gotta wait like a like a few minutes though. Yeah, but as you start, as you say, yeah. let me do this. Yeah. Um, they're kind of gauging the sort of situation. Yeah. Um, and uh, one of them says, "My lady, no." And she says, "No, please." And she puts her hand on you. She says, "If you can help us." Okay, but it's gonna take like a few minutes. <laughs> So the I'll Burgermeister. Start, I'll start the prayer. It takes ten minutes. The Burgermeister mentioned that you were seeking Irina. We have some familiarity with Irina. Did you find her? With that, from right beside you, the door opens up slightly, and out steps Ismark, Irina's brother. You are here. We are. You were supposed to meet us days ago. So I'll, I'll you go. You said in. you were going to check in. We got a little sidetracked by some. Children and some <clears throat> pies. It's not important. Out steps Irina. Oh. Irina, so good to see you're safe. What took you so long? You said you'd be back. Many of many of the the ladies' men died, coming to get me to send me to Kresk. That was one of the two places that we were told that Father Donovich told us to go. And this place is not safe, so we're heading there. So what, excuse me, forgive me, what brought you back here again? I, I was, I never left. I was here, safe at the church, and the lady was chased to the city wall, to the village walls, the town walls, by werewolves. So here's what happened. We <laughs> are idiots. <laughs> you we, are an idiot. Uh, okay. Let's go back I, out to, um, to Sterling, Esmeralda, and the boy. So you can find them. You think you can find the bones? I that would do a lot to avenge <laughs> Father Lucian and bring the church back to its former glory and bring hope back to Velaki. There's much unrest because of those bones. I think do you it's know, a did somebody while. run off with them? Say that again? Do you know, did somebody run off with them? Um, he starts to kind of, like he has a bit more information that he's giving. Do you oh. know who is to blame for this? Give me a uh, persuasion check. <laughs> Fine, I told Milvoj about it, and, <laughs> and I told him about the bones because Father Lucian trusted me, and uh, they're usually kept in a crypt. Uh, it's a 10 foot by 10 foot by 10 foot crypt right under <laughs> where the altar is, and I told him about it, and then they went missing, and I think it was him. Father who? Mil Lucian. Who's dead? Milshin. Lucian. 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 Milovosh. Milovosh is the is the groundskeeper. He he's a young man who who he, he digs the graves and he takes care of the grounds and and oh, yeah, he, he uh, and he took them from this crypt that was underneath the altar. I don't know, but he was the, per the only person I told. I swear. Son, son, son. Yes. Where is Milovosh now? That hurts. Ah, mm. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, he's, don't, he's, oh, he, ew, don't be creepy oh, about oh, him. He lives, <laughs> he lives in town, uh, and that really hurt. Uh, and he, um, 
Oh dear. Um, that was separated two days ago. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He lives in town with his sisters. Um, they're not. They don't do very well. They don't have a lot of money. Um, but you can maybe find him there. He's been coming daily in the afternoon to help at the church. What time um, is it now? It's about twelve thirty. Okay. I'm going to use one of my lay on hands points. Just one to try yeah. to yeah. make him feel better. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh, that tickles. That's a good lad. Oh, why, why thank you. So he lives that's, with uh, his sisters. Yes, that's right. He. Um, and you know which house that is? Uh, Any one of us would make a comment there. Yes, I can. I yeah, can, I was. Mm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I can take yeah. you there. Um, I can take you there. Hmm. Very good, very good. I think, I think we'll have to go there next. Can I yell out, uh, yell out from the church uh, to the rest of the group? Dimitri, Sterling, Esmeralda. We found oh. Anna and Irene. Not too loudly. <laughs> hmm. We should go. Yeah. Let me know when my ten minutes of prayer is up. I'm just patient. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I really want to, like, when they, you said Irene came out, I really wanted to tell her about the strat. Like, yeah. I, I can't yeah, so let's wait. go back into inside. But I'm, but I'm just, still, just trying so hard to focus. And <laughs> Give me a wisdom saving throw on that one to stop yourself from telling oh. her about your wonderful buddy. Oh yeah. Who wants to wed her? Do you want to read the book? Still charmed. They're still charmed. Oh uh, yeah, so that is a nat tw- uh, one. Nat Natural one. one. You don't care about healing these people. You think that you could solve all of Barovia's problems right now by telling her how perfect Strut is for her. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I jump up. I come out and come out of the prayer like, wow, I like it. it's Irina. And, and, then jump and you've lost that slot too. In the middle of it. Hmm. The prayer slot? That's the unfortunate. Spell slot. That's a second I'm level assuming spell. that I think that's what happens. Make sure that you I think it drops as soon as you if you interrupt it in your casting time, you drop the lots no, of no, slot. No 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 more praying for you. <laughs> <laughs> That'll learn me. Uh, so I'll run over to her like yeah. oh, Irina? She kinda steps like, back oh, and Ismar Irina? kinda steps in front. You're Irina? Oh, hey, hey, who's who's in front? Ismark, her brother. Is? Oh. He has blonde hey. hair. Hi, hey, I'm Muskoka. I'm, hey. I'm in there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, Muskoka. What are you doing? Well, there's a guy. You gotta meet him. He's hello, so it's me. Amazing. I'm a farmer. He's not him. And, and this guy's handsome. Uh, and he's Muskoka. like rich. And he's got a really um, big house. I'll pull out his cape again. And he thinks Same you thing are time. just okay. the piece of strength cape. Strength check. Uh, strength of last check. Strength of last check, please, for a grapple. What kicks 19? Oh, natural 20. Oh, oh found. Uh, you are now. <laughs> you are now. I would say with a natural 20, you managed to grab him and silence him. Okay. I How jumped. did you do that? No, I uh, climbed. This, uh, no, what I did was yeah. I grabbed the cape, I threw Again. it around his mouth, and Again. I pulled him back. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. So oh. it's like, oh, she kind of squints her eyes at, at, at him, and she kind of like. Oh man! And I pull him out of the building. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> take care of. They us. mentioned werewolves attached to, attack them. What do I know about werewolves? <laughs> Give me a nature check, please. Oh man! Are you saying that to me? I'm saying that to you guys. Thirteen. Like, take care of. Us. Um, you know that they have multiple. Multiple shifting forms. Some can shift uh, into like a humanoid form, a uh, hybrid form where it's half wolf, half man. You know that they can shift into wolves, and you know that they pass lycanthropy through through bite. What? What is? Why are you handing Muskoka to me? No, 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 not. No, I'm taking Muskoka out, and I tell you guys take care of the situation in here. Oh, I think okay. you might take care of it. So I immediately go in. Then. Yeah. yeah, I go in too. Where, so where'd you guys go? I'm in, pulling where I out, of out, out, of, out of the out of the church. Out of the church. Okay. While and they take care of the okay. situation. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask her. I noticed that you t- have some wounds. Were you bitten? Uh, mostly clawed. No bites. No bites whatsoever. No. Bite. Bite from what? Uh, if I look at them, do I notice any clear check. investigation check? Uh, not one. They look fine. Okay. Well, as long as you're all right, wouldn't want you turning into a into a werewolf right beside me. <laughs> Ridiculous. They don't laugh. Yeah. <laughs> you were, That's one. You were come upon by werewolves. Yes, we were chased by 
a pack of them. But you weren't bit. No, they say they were not. I am fine. We lost many in our group. Well, how many? How many exactly? How many did we lose? Mm. We lost ten. Only two left. And how many werewolves set upon you? We don't know what happened so fast. Perhaps we should begin to head to Krusk now. I say we assume that we can go the better, especially under the light hmm. of day. But um, first I should tell you, our boy over here knows exactly who may have taken the bones of St. Andrew. How would he know that? He uh, has a loose lips, very loose lips, and he told the groundskeeper about the poses. So he betrayed the trust of the Abbey and Father Lucian. Well, he's also a little kid, so... Hmm. So, you know, how old would he be, do you think? Uh, the altar boy? Yeah. 10, 12. Oh. As well just got in? I was saying like a 18 or something. Oh yeah, am I, am I inside at this point, or? Yeah, you're all, you can uh, all be inside. As yeah. he drags me past, like they're walking in, yeah. and I'm like, I want to kind of loudly whisper yeah. to Esmeralda, it's Irina, it's Irina, you gotta tell her, you gotta tell her about Strad. Okay. Yeah. Well, his mouth is covered, right? Yeah, yeah. your mouth is yeah. covered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so give me a perception check with disadvantage, Esmeralda. Uh, okay. Perception with disadvantage. Oh, <laughs> I rolled a natural one. Oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, what? That sucks. Um, you heard, uh, Esmeralda, Esmeralda, I'm really in love with you. What? Really, I never understand what that guy's saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank Perfect. you. I wish I could thank high you. five Brilliant. you right now. It's like, oh, virtual Brilliant. high five. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you guys do? <laughs> yeah, and the boy is going to lead us to where the groundskeeper stay. Perhaps we should deal with this situation first. Apparently, Irina will only be safe in Kresk. Uh, but perhaps we should also bring up what we were discussing the previous day uh, when we were hosted as guests. I whisper that. Okay. Uh, perhaps we should go. I'm, I'm gonna motion to the group to be an exit. Uh. Are we going right now? Hmm, shall we? Ismark says, are we sure it's safe? We were just it's there. It's not. It's not, if we, it's not, this place is not gonna be safe until we find those bones again. Welcome because to Because this Bellia. place is desecrated. There is nothing safe. Are you here? Yeah. yeah, I'm just. Yeah. Well, if you're in there, then I'm gonna dust myself off and come back in. Oh yeah, you're you're not. You're, you're outside with him. Yeah, uh, okay. so yeah, you're right. Oh, right. Yeah, you dragged him up. Yeah, yeah. drag him out. Yeah, you didn't get murdered. <laughs> this is Barovia. <laughs> Nothing is safe. Yeah. This is Barovia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you kind of all exit, um, Irina kind of pulls up a hood. Um, Ismark also covers his face, and yeah. the two guards. Um, Crescites, as they're called, uh, and and Lady Anna kind of step out. Uh, into the thing, they all kind of pull up, and she looks around. She says, "You do not look like you are dressed for Kresk." <laughs> yeah, we are not. not. Well, I am. It is a bit nipply out. You went up there dressed like this. Oh yeah. Yes, we did. Perhaps a quick visit to the merchant is in order. That would be well. Nice. Maybe if somebody's vision had told us it would be snowing, we would have dressed for the I park. said it was in the mountains. You put so much emphasis on the sun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded warm. It's such a shame you bought those boots and now you gotta buy more boots. It's sort of weird how we brought those children all the way over here when Irina was here all along. Well, now they're all be together. At least we got some exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, to the merchant. In the freezing cold. <laughs> yes. To the merchant. Um, where, wherever we merchant? go, I want to be right next to Irina, as protective of as, as I possibly can. Oh. Okay. Falfa, what are you doing? Let uh, let Mamoba da, go. I mean, uh, okay, fine. Mamosa. <coughs> I'll take Mamosa's cape off. <laughs> Mamosa? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at the cost of something here. <laughs> oh. uh, That's the worst part. Yeah. So I, yeah, so I, un, I unwrap the, the cape from his mouth and let him go. And I'll, I'm like, don't, why don't you want her to know? Like that's how we're gonna get out of here. Just, just wait a while. You'll understand. Ah, uh, boy, 
I'll turn to the altar boy. Yes, yeah, and he's as soon as you left, he's starting to board up the church again. Come with us now. I want you to show me where the groundskeeper lives. R- right now? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to stay here by yourself. Yeah. All right, and he walks out with you folks. Um, I'm going to say for clothing. <laughs> they used to have winter's clothing in the player's handbook. I don't. Oh, traveler's clothes. Ah. Clothes. Is it like clothes. winter kit or something like that? I, I, I looked for that, but I don't see it. Um, Just fur lined or something. So I would say it's about 20 gold a set. Oh, wow! Esmeralda! Oh, wait. Uh, hey, no, sorry, sorry, listen. sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Uh, 20, 20 silver a set. Sorry. Okay. So, so two, 20 two, silver, two, that's two gold a set. That's more bucks. I was looking at costume <laughs> clothing. Not uh, not that yet. Okay. I'm trying to find winter clothing. I thought it was in here, but anyways. I kind of if you guys find winter you clothing, you know. You may already be dressed. Okay, so you are heading over. So he t- sent, uh, kind of walks through um, Valaki and brings you to a really modest kind of rundown home, um, kind of a Tudor building, one story, kind of cottage type type building. And he says, uh, this is the place. And he kind of turns around and he runs back up towards the church. Hmm. I'm going to walk right up and put my ear to the door to okay. see if I... Perception check. And I'll, uh, mm-hmm. with my... 17. Skills, look around the building, see if there's any steps. Survival around. check. Um, with a 17, you hear the casual conversation of two younger um, young people. Uh, you imagine probably kids. Um, All right, I will. One, two females. I'll politely knock on the door. Okay. And it stops. Dirty 20. Okay. With the dirty 20, you see that there has been. Uh, just traffic in and out of here. Okay. Um, th- uh, it, it appears like two younger f- kids yep. and one older person hmm. that has come in and out of the building over the last okay. couple days. Um, you do also notice um, kind of like a, um, a shovel kind of leaned up against the side of the ca- cottage. Okay. But other than that, it's it's pretty run down. There's like garbage and dirt and whatever. Okay, so I'll turn to Dimitri without saying a word. I'll just go like... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say you did. <laughs> um, <Are> and we <laughs> are, are we just all watching you guys do this? But he just knocked. Him. So from inside, you say, you hear, "Who goes there?" Uh, I don't know, man. Hello. Uh, I don't know, man. Yes. Uh, we seek an audience with the groundskeeper of the church. What business do you have with him? Well, it's in quite a state of disrepair, and we were very much interested in helping him restore it. That's not my responsibility. I'd like to walk around. Does he not live here? What's it to you? Pretty sure that's exactly his responsibility. Um, You start to walk around the back. Are you stealthing? Um, Are there windows? Um, There are, but they're shuttered. Okay, so I'm not going to... I don't, I don't even hide too much if there's shuttered windows. Sure, so you I'm start to walk around. Walk around. Yeah, okay. I want to see if there's a door at the back. Yeah, sure doesn't yeah there's only one door in the front. It's a pretty modest hovel kind of cottage. Okay. And then I'll stay at the side to make sure he doesn't jump out those windows. Okay. And we just would like to have a few words about the possible restoration of the church. Uh, persuasion check. Oh. 21. We just have five minutes of your time to tell you about <laughs> 21 21 <clears throat> he uh, he kind of cracks the door and he kind of looks out and he sees the big group I'm smiling to the teeth same here I'll smile as well hello are you the groundskeeper may yeah. I ask what your name we've is we've met this guy before right yeah he looks like no you haven't he looks oh, like that Okay. Uh, literally, has. as somebody who would uh, probably has. listen to has. emo, uh, <laughs> and uh, and he kind of he's a brawny um, brother. Yeah, he, he's a, he's a brawny, well-built, uh, young, um, kind of furrowed brow emo kid. Um, yeah, and he kind of has dirt on his face, and he kind of says, "What does it take for you to get for you to go away?" 
and leave me alone. I could think of a few things. Is it, does the door open inwards toward him? Towards him? Yeah. Can I get my foot in the door so we can't close it? Uh, yeah, give me a dexterity check there. Good job. Uh, yeah. lined with Athletics blades. check. Doors lined with blades. 23. Yeah. Uh, you get your foot in before he, can, he tries to close it real quick. I say, um... And he says, sisters, run! We only seek to do what's right. And I'm gonna to try to push the door open. Okay. Uh, I would say with that, you're able to, to strong arm him into it, and he, he kind of falls back onto his stump, uh, and on his butt. You hear the doors, the windows start to unlatch. Um, yeah. And one of them opens up, and uh, uh, maybe, I don't know, she's probably eight, uh, she starts to out. kind of scramble out the, out the window. Can I just like help her out and then hold on to her? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Okay, give me a strength, uh, strength and athletics check. Against an eight-year-old? Yeah. Uh, Oh, I hope this doesn't go poorly. Fifteen. Natural twenty. Oh! She goes pop in your eyes. You take Ooh. one point of damage. Oh, she man. slips out from under you. You you're temporarily blinded, and you hear tick, 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 and so you hear another body go. Tick, 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 tick. Do we see awesome. her run out? Yeah. Okay. The rest of us watch this happen. As I hear the no. running, and I'm holding my eyes like this, yeah. I'm gonna run towards the sound, hoping that I can get check. my eyes back. Like, Perception check. Okay. Oh, 23. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you uh, you come over to quite quickly, and you see that they're kind of weaving in and out of buildings. Okay. Um, so he's you, falling backwards. He's falling backwards on onto his butt. Okay. I'll kneel down to him, and I'll put my hand on his shoulder. I'm yeah. doing a lot of this. <laughs> yeah, you are. I like it. And I'll say, <laughs> where are the bones of St. Andrew? Check the coffin maker shop, okay? Why would they I was be just there? trying to make some money for my family, my sisters, and he bought them from me. He knows where they are, not me. Now please go, leave us alone. Where is it? How old is this guy? Uh, maybe we take him with us. He's like 18, 17, 18. Age of accountability. Mm. We would Inside? like you to show us where the coffin maker is. Uh, and yeah. he gives you directions. He says, it's up the road and to the left, left, right, left. Take you, us you, there. <sighs> No, you're coming with us, buddy. Fine, fine, I'll take you. Let's go. Okay. Yep. Cool. You guys, um, he, he says, he, he says, where are my sisters? I want to know they're safe You, you let them run off. Um, let's go, go, where are they? No, he he kind of looks around. He, he looks, yeah, he looks around the corner and he sees Ms. Skoka kind of run off. <laughs> let's go, oh, you ran off. I'm chasing the two girls. <laughs> to take right. off. <laughs> It took off, eh? Let's go, let's go, girl. It's fine, leave him. Are you, yeah, are you yelling at? You, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, oh man. Uh, shoot. Uh, okay, so I'll, uh, I'll just slow my pace down like a <laughs> okay, so you guys all kind of get together, um, and he kind of like, like, begrudgingly, obviously an attitude chip on his shoulder, leads you to uh, the coffin shop. Okay, I stay right next to him. So as we're walking there, so you sold the bones of Saint Andrew. Yeah. So what? Well, I was just interesting because that means all the blood of the innocent Valakians. Valakians. Valachians is on your hands. How much would you do to feed your sister so they don't starve? I would do anything. Exactly. At least you didn't give them up for pies, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you guys approach an uninviting shop. It's two stories tall and has a sign shaped like a coffin above the front door. All of the window shutters are closed up tight and a deathly silence surrounds the establishment. So this is the place? And so the man, is this the place? Yes. This is it. Is it open? If anybody knows where they are, he's the last one to have them. <laughs> We're closed! Go away! We need to enter. What are your operating hours? Not open now! Open the door! Go away! We're not here for business. Well, you wouldn't be. <laughs> well, here we go again. Because you wouldn't need a coffin if you could speak. <laughs> go away! Them. Only dead people Open the door. I'm gonna walk around to the back again. Okay. You start to walk around the back. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, walk, walk up, push uh, Dimitri to the side a bit, and just uh, cast Eldritch, Eldritch Blast on the door, which is force damage. Okay. And just blast it open. You see like a shadowy beam, uh, you know, shoot forth, you know, orb just shoot forth and just splash against the doorway. <laughs> yeah. Take that door. That's force damage. <laughs> okay, how That's much what you get. So that will do eight force damage. Do you have to roll to hit? Or just uh, well, it, it depends on you. If it's if it, there's an is AC. It an auto hit. There's an AC. It's auto okay. hit. There's uh, an AC. Uh, it's an auto hit. Yeah. Uh, but you have to roll to hit typically uh, on a normal attack. Yeah. 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 Because there is an AC for it. All so right. Roll to so. hit and then. Yeah, nine. Okay. Um, uh, splinter wood, but it doesn't. No. What's the damage? Do the damage, sorry? Uh, it was eight force damage. Yeah, so it starts to splinter, but it doesn't quite. It's a well-built, thick, thick huh. door, thick oak door. Well made. And I'm going to do it again. Okay, do it again, roll Last again. Last again. Uh, that is a uh, 13. 13. Okay. Uh, with the 13, that's enough. Um, and a more damage. Oh, what's roll that damage? Uh, that is a, a, a 10, I believe. That's a zero, right? That's covered by the thing. It's a 10. Okay. <laughs> where the kind of like the, the ring where you open the door bursts out into splintered of wood and the, the door kind of swings open. Um, and. We see, Jason. You are doing, what do we see? You guys are doing all kinds of things I never expected. Wow. Today. Like not visiting this. <laughs> <laughs> this looks great, by the way. Oh, yeah, I've been admiring it. Nice setup. Yeah. Uh -huh. I like how you decorate it's, the tables. Yeah, yeah, I feel like you do all this the next snow. Week and that's really what's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, I feel like there's a lot of painting yeah. that happened. Yeah. These towers are you were cool. up late doing this. Yeah. <laughs> These rooms, though. Uh, <laughs> Oh man! All right, um, we are running a little late. Yeah, we started late, so I figured we go a little late, so we'll go a little bit longer. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, yes. Uh, this uh, you walk in, you step into a, you see what appears to be a workshop. It contains everything a carpenter needs to make coffins, furniture, three sturdy work tables stretch the length of the west wall. Um, you notice that there is um, a door to your immediate right, and then there's a door further down on the on the right that leads further to the house. There's current silence. We don't see the man in there. No. He hid. We'd like to do this the polite way. <laughs> he didn't run I mean, out the back we, door? We meant after we broke the door down, we'd like to do this the polite way. Is there a back door? Yes. You you, you walk around. There's a number of windows, mm -hmm. uh, and there's a back a back door. Uh, is it unlocked? Can we try to open it? It's locked. Um, we are very good at hide and seeking. Persuasion check. I'd, I'm gonna use my cantrip, uh, primal savagery, okay. to uh, grow my teeth. Okay. And I'd like to try to Eleven. gnaw through the door around the handle. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Make an attack. Nice. Uh, waiting. Waiting. Ready. Go. Uh, it's a twenty-one for an attack, and it does uh, uh, four acid damage. Okay. Wow. So you start to like. <laughs> Through wow. and you're starting to gnaw wow. away around it. Wow! In wow. in one turn. Wow! wow. Uh, you're about halfway through. You imagine at this point. Um, on my persuasion. <laughs> uh Sorry. Eleven on my persuasion. Yeah. Check. No. No response. No response. Hmm. Hmm. And there's stairs. Uh, nope. There's no stairs. There's a doorway to the right and a doorway just ahead to the left. But it looks like right. it's a two-story thing from the outside. It is. Looks like it's a two-story building. Yep. There's two two floors. Can I try to kick one of the doors down? Yeah. Which one? The one that's uh, further why in. Why not? We're all doing it. The one that's further <laughs> in, or the one that's closest to the the door that you just came through. Uh, let's try the close one. Okay. I checked if mine was unlocked. At least. Give me an attack on it. Unarmed un 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 strike. <laughs> the you guys are just. <laughs> uh, that's an 18. Okay. That is a hit. Damage? Oh, it's not gonna be a lot. 
Oh, it's three. Yeah, so you hit it and it, 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 it buckles a little bit and it starts to splinter wood. Uh, but as you did that, you notice that this is an in, inside door and it doesn't have a lock on it. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I could also just, you know, open it. <laughs> <laughs> as you open it, um, you notice range. that uh, a table with four <laughs> chairs range. is in one corner of this room with a lantern hanging from a chain directly above. Two well-made cabinets stand against the east wall. Can I take a look inside the cabinet? Yes, he starts to like peruse the cabinets. <laughs> Can I go to the other door? Yeah. yeah. And you notice that there's just a bunch of like collected knickknacks, but not stuff that anything really of value, just things that look like have, they've been collected over the years. Like you go. Okay. You go I to just. The, sorry. I'm just gonna like a cat that's an asshole, just kind of knock stuff over. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. And then walk out of the room. Okay, so uh, you open the other door. Yeah. Uh, and you notice arranged haphazardly about the floor of this musty L-shaped room are 13 wooden coffins. And they're just kind of all <laughs> sitting in this dark kind of musty um, musty room. Can I sort of listen very carefully to see if I get any sense that anyone's breathing inside a coffin? Perception check. Or... 16. No, you hear nothing. Okay, so I'm still in the other room. Yeah. I'm, I just want to peruse the room to see if there's been any steps. Dust moved. Is the person hiding? Uh, survival check. Okay. I want to start opening coffins. Okay. I you can examine the ceiling to see if there's any like. Sure. I'm gonna say you can open two per round. Sure. Huh? Just checking the ceiling to see if there's any kind of hatch to get out. Investigation check. He like swings down. Can I <laughs> continue to chew the, the door in the back? Yeah. Give me uh, another attack or another. Attack and then another damage, please. Uh, 17. 20 to hit. Nothing Dirty. you can see. I'm, I'm Dirty 20 to hit and 10 damage. But there's something I want to do. You, you go through and you come through. And Roan just op is opening a coffin. Uh, <laughs> and he's opened two of the coffins that are in the room. <laughs> oh, well, go on, help me. Ah, okay. So <laughs> do, are there anything in the coffin or are they. Uh... Empty coffins. Um, and they're just like wooden boxes, basically. Okay. Wooden plain wooden I'm coffins. assuming that if the bones were still here, that this place wouldn't have sustained any damage during the attack, right? If the bones were still here... Yeah, if they were still... If yeah. San Andro's bones were still in the premises, uh -huh. this place wouldn't have sustained any damage during the attack from Strahd, right? Because uh, Vlaki was overrun with undead. And yeah, stuff, right? it wasn't all damaged, but a lot of it was like in the town center and at right. the gates and stuff like that. But a lot of buildings were. Ooh. But give me a, give me a perception check to see if you okay. can kind of tell if, it's I been, just, if there's a, it sustained any damage. Because I, yeah, I kind of want to get the sense if the bones might actually still be here. Um, yeah, that's a, you said perception. That's yep. ten. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any visible damage to the building. Yeah. Okay. I will aid, but I'm gonna crack them open slowly. Okay. I'm just gonna take a peek. So, so you go over and you open a third one. Yeah. Uh, you Perfect. go to open the fourth one. You peek, and there is something inside. Is it a as you open human? It. Uh, give me a perception check. What are you doing, Esmeralda? Uh, I have I have knocked mm. stuff over in that room. Is there any anything else of interest? Any trap doors? Maybe you do I notice that there else? is a door that leads out of this room, other than the one you just came through. There's two windows, but that's all you see really of note. You guys see that there's two doors that lead out of this room. Yeah, I rolled an eleven. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly just shut the shut the coffin again. Yeah. And be like, Rob, hey, Rob, hey, there's something in here. Please don't hurt me. Oh, I think that's mm -hmm. him. Don't make any sudden movements, and I'm gonna prepare uh, an Eldritch Blast and just a, a, like a shimmering, like, you know, orb of dark forces in my hands, and okay. I'm gonna open it. I don't want any I'll, trouble. I'll, 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 I'll help you like pull it away. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. Okay, I don't, huh. don't do anything. Okay, so as you open it up, you see a, a grizzled old man wearing a kind of beet leather uh, apron, big bushy beard, white hair that comes back. I think we have Henrik. Um, this picture, hopefully in the file. If not, I don't know. Um, but uh, and he seems very scared, old, weather beaten. I uh, I want to sort of lean forward, like right beside him. Okay. Just uh, where are the bones, old man. Give me a uh, intimidation check. Yeah, that's a seventeen. 
They're upstairs in the wardrobe. Go, get out of here. Stay right there. Well, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on you. And I'm going to turn around and uh, follow his instructions. Okay, and he pointed towards one of the two doors that are, there's a left door and a right door that lead out of this room. So how long have you been doing this for? (laughs) <laughs> and he just glares at you. I'll follow Roan. If I see him, does he go through? Where is he passing through, first of all? So you guys are still in the op- you're still in the workshop area. Yep. Esmeralda's in the next door. They're in the following I, door. So I was just leaving, leaving that room, so I don't know if I have a chance to overhear anything. You do hear stuff on. through the other door that leads out of this room. What if do I do, do, then I will follow them up. Okay, so you open the door, and you see Roan approaching, so you know that the other door is where he's talking about. You open that other door, and there's a staircase, single staircase. Yeah. Okay. As you head up um, the staircase, uh, you come up to another door, you open that door, um, and This large, drafty room is strung with cobwebs and takes up most of the upper floor. Stacks of wooden planks lie amid several crates marked junk. Um, Yeah, I'm going to start. I'm going to go to the wardrobe, I guess, where he mentioned it was. Okay, so you don't see the you don't you don't see the wardrobe here. Oh, okay. Um, But in this room, there is as you kind of walk around, you notice that there was another door. You climb up the stairs, there's a door on the left or on the right. You went through the door on the left. So if you want to go through the door on the right. Yeah, I'll go to the door on the right. Um, what are you doing, Falfur? What are you doing, Sterling? I'm still beside Irina, very protective of her. Okay. Got my sword and shield. Callie has decided to stay outside. She, you know, she kind of puts, crosses her arms and kind of leans against the building. She's like, this is a hell of a thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's Irina. Um, I, well, while, while he's going up there, I'm going to bring the groundskeeper into the room where I heard the talking, hmm. and so I'll see. You're gonna bring the groundskeeper room. Well, sorry, the groundskeeper into the room. Okay, into the coffin room. Okay, yep. yeah. And uh, and you see the coffin maker kind of in the, in the coffin, kind of like, "Don't hurt me." I'm just trying to make chit chat with him. Too. Okay. I'll, I'll say to him, "The bones." I told your friends they're Rowan, up there. Yeah, Ron already mm. went up. He's going to get up. Really you walk into a kitchen, a small square room. Um, contains a square table surrounded by chairs and shelves, provisions. Kind of messy. You can mm-hmm. tell he doesn't really care too much about cleanliness. So I'm just going to put the make the groundskeeper sit next to the coffin okay, guy. He kind of like slumps down on the ground, Wait scowls. Here. He looks at him, he's like... I'll just stand with my arms crossed while Ron does his thing. Can I, do I get a sense of where people are? Yeah, 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 so you can join, yep, you can join them. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll follow up behind Esmeralda if I see her or hear her going up. Okay, so you guys, so you, the two of you and Esmeralda head up the stairs. Cool. I'll I'll notion for him to follow into where we're headed, into that room. All right. Uh, this modest bedchamber holds a cot and several well-made pieces of furniture, including a table, a padded chair, a bookshelf, and a wardrobe. What do you do? I go to the wardrobe. I'll go to the bookshelf. Okay. Um, you go over to the bookshelf. It's stacked with books of all different kinds. Anything? Can I? Th- anything of interest? Anything? Investigation check. Oh, what's a seven? Okay. Uh, you don't see a lot. Uh, there's some history books, some history of Velaki, hmm. um, but nothing, some stories, things like that, but nothing that nothing sticks out to you. Nothing, yeah, that you really think that is crazy. You, you said there was a bed? Uh, there's a bed, yes. I would like to check under the bed. Uh, sorry, a cot. It's a cot, yeah. Cot. Uh, there's nothing under the cot. Uh, there's some scattered clothing, but that's it. Um, he has expensive taste, but he doesn't upkeep his place very, very well, um, it appears. Uh, you look in the wardrobe, and there's clothes hanging, and there's some boots and shoes, but that's all you see. Can I, talk to him some- I want to search for maybe a hidden compartment somewhere. Yeah. Give me an investigation. Loose oh, floorboards, anything like that. Yeah, that's seven. Uh, you don't seem to find anything. Go ahead. So why would you buy bones? Like, it doesn't seem to make sense that a coffin maker would buy bones. Don't you sell coffins to put other people's bones in? It's hard to uh, negotiate with the Lord of Darkness. And he kind of looks around. Oh, 
Strad? Oh, he's a gem. <laughs> <laughs> and his eyes kind of like widen. <laughs> and like doesn't know if you're being sarcastic oh, or if you're being a friend. That's he's gotta like, be inspiration, right? That's so <laughs> chill. Oh, he's a gem. Oh, man, he ha- yeah, really he's great. just a, he's an alright guy. I don't think it's so bad. Like <laughs> But why? Why did he want both? The boy's like, huh? And the and the old man's like, he kind of uh, calms a little bit, and he's trying to kind of like understand what you're if if you're like pulling his leg or whatever. No. And he, yeah, yeah, we 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 like had dinner with him the other night. He's like one of the did. nicest guys. He's got such good food. Look, I got some. And I'll take some of the roots out of out of my pockets. Roots that I took from dinner. It's like, look, I saved some. It's so good. You want to bite? I, I'm I'm all right. He. He made me store his spawn Ooh, that's for the attack. Kind of gross. <laughs> and they told me to keep the bones here, Ooh. so that he could get access to the church. Oh, so they're still here now, though the bones. Yes. Oh, okay. Wh- where did you store his spawn? And he like forgot that you were there for a moment, yeah. <laughs> and he kind of looked over. He said, "They were in the coffin for days. Coffins for days. So are six em- of them. Are they all empty now? Yes, they're not here anymore." Oh, okay, but that coffin's empty. They're empty. Yes. Oh. How much do these go for, anyways? Like. <laughs> okay, we'll go <laughs> back to the top <laughs> floor. Uh, you're looking through this wardrobe. You don't find anything. <laughs> Esmeralda, Falfar. The old man mentioned the bones were in here. There must be some sort of secret compartment, but I can't seem to find it. Can I check? Why don't you help yep. me take a look? Yep. Yeah, can I help look for any loose floorboards, any yep. weird thing out of place? Weavers in the bookshelf. Wisdom check. Anything. Somebody do a wisdom check with advantage because they're being helped. Busted up. Or actually, uh, we'll, we'll do it the way we typically do, which is whoever's searching, you get wisdom check and then you get the other person's bonus added. Okay. Per- perception. So who's doing the checking? So I will do the, the per- it's a perception wisdom yeah. check, right? Yeah. So I got an 11. You can get my two. Plus two. And you need my wisdom modifier. Yes. Added. It's three more. Okay, so all told, that's sixteen, right? Because you had two plus three more, so sixteen. You kind of knock around, and you notice that there's an area where you can actually <laughs> kind of pull. Yeah. Thank you. And then you kind of like, <laughs> you like that? Yeah. <laughs> DM one hundred and one. Yeah. Uh, and you, there's kind of like a tiny little finger hole where you can actually stick, and then you pull it up, and there's a little compartment under. So I I'll um, do that. And there are two sacks. In the bottom of the compartment. I, I just I saw your. No, I did nothing. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> watch, I'm watching like a hawk. Yeah. I'll All grab right. both sacks. Yeah. And I'll. <laughs> yeah, this guy's a. Pull them out. One sack forever. One contains the bones. Okay. And um. Are they are they the same same? So I'll hand I'll hand them over. Your wait, who's in there with me? Esmeralda is. So I'll hand yes. the, the bones over to Esmeralda. Uh, can you? And that's a larger sack, and it's got a number of just human bones. Okay, so I'll pass them to her because I'm uh, trying to stay away from bones. And uh, yeah, maybe keep these away from you. Yeah, thank you. And I'll open the other bag and look. And that's just a small one. It has thirty silver, twelve electrum, uh, and all of the coins. And along with all the coins that you've seen in Barovia, have the profiled visage of Strahd von Zarvich. Okay. So I'll, I'll look at the bag. I'll go. I'll hand it over to her as well. You maybe take this as well. And uh, as I'm looking in, oh yes, because we don't want to relive this morning at breakfast. Uh, it's, I'm, trying, I'm trying my best here, okay, woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you now have the bones. You have the. What, what do you do now? Why were you trying to get a deal with Strad? I have no choice. You don't make deals with Strad. You listen, and you survive. No choice. No, of course not. So what? It was just like, just do it or die? He said that he would pay me enough to not have to open my shop for a long time. Well, how much did he well, pay you? That's why you were closed. Well, he, whatever's in the small sack, I didn't even open it yet. Mm-hmm. Now please go. I want to walk downstairs. Okay, mm-hmm. you all c- c- congregate in the coffin storage area. Okay. You shouldn't do things walking like that. Walking downstairs, walking downstairs with everybody else, I think I say to everybody, do you think we should like maybe leave some of this money perhaps with him? I feel bad for the guy. I don't feel bad for the guy. He betrayed his own people. 
Am I there now? Yeah, mm-hmm. but like, you know, Stad's very persuasive. Well, no, you're outside with, you're outside with <laughs> Irina. If you that is right. true. Oh. <laughs> so, by the way, did you see that, Irina yeah. outside? I'm surprised yeah. you didn't say anything, Esmeralda. Well, I tried to tell you that I had a thing over my face. I mean, you know, I rolled pretty low, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was rolling all over the ground. Uh, you know, I just thought that there were some pressing matters at hand, but I think that now that we got these bones, I don't really like, and I hand this money to uh, Dimitri. Hmm. I'll look over at the coffin <laughs> and I'll, I'll just count what's in there. Okay. Yep, and it was, what did I say? Uh, 300 electrum. Yeah, nice try. 200 gold. Uh, 30 silver and 12 electrum. Hmm. 30 silver. 12 electrum. Hmm. So that's your price, is it? My life is my price. I would have surely been dead. I do what all Barovians do, survive. And that is where we're going to end the session for this oh. evening. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. Good. oh that was a good yeah. one, guys. We didn't even get n- nowhere near where I thought we'd get. <laughs> well, we next, next time, next time, yeah, next yeah, time. Yeah. We got a whole season, right? So we're heading, we're heading south, right? You mean this isn't the coffin place's backyard? Oh. <laughs> oh. Nope. Wow. This is the Abbey. <laughs> yeah. That was eventful. That was good. Yeah. All right, we uh, pulled a winner already because we were super late. Um, the winner is Writing Machine One Two Three. You are Yay! the winner of a Mithril uh, Tin Twenty. Woo. Uh, enjoy that uh, when these guys send it out to you soon, uh, and the mods will make sure that they get your information so that that can be sent out. Uh, if you liked what you saw, consider uh, following us and subscribing uh, to be part of our Discord. Those little. Uh, uh, forest encounters that you guys had along the way are actual things that happened in our Discord earlier today, mm. oh, where somebody cool. was trying to craft a yeah. sword, n- roll natural one twice, and then like threw the sword and it broke, twing, and like flew into. It. <laughs> so this is actually stuff that's happening in our community oh so that cool. is affecting awesome. our actual game, that's and that'll cool. continue to happen. And there are Vistani camps all over Barovia um, that are. That, that have our community members. And we so will cool. find you. We will. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We will see you. How's it going, eh? <laughs> going All right, well, it's late, yes, so yeah. we will uh, bid everyone adieu. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone, and uh, be safe. Uh, we'll love y'all, and we'll see you tomorrow night for Behind the Screen, Thursday night for Player's Table, and then back for Nolzers on Sunday, and then episode four of 13. Yay. And 13 is going to happen around Halloween. Yes, that's correct. Which is kind of weird. 13, number 13. I know. Halloween. Oh, I know. Bye, guys. See Thanks, Nora. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.